Hello, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> we are the X1 Bros. This is your positive gaming and Xbox One community. Hey, I just had to time out Shibru for uh, Command Brink in chat. <laughs> so. Brink. There's a funny story behind that. Brink has become McSpicy's troll word. Uh, he's been getting tweets all week. And last night in the, the Couchcast live stream, many people were... <laughs> Oh, Saint Me Fifty Eight as well. Oh, they're doing it. Okay, <laughs> you're you're done. You're gone too. <laughs> because Mick Spicy hates Brink. It's true, and everybody won't leave me alone about it. And yeah, and they they trigger me. Okay, we're not going to talk. This whole episode is not going to be Brink related. I just <laughs> they they did that right at the beginning. This is podcast number one twenty four. Welcome back, Brohemes and Brosives. As always, I am joined by the bros, the X1 bros. First and foremost, this guy is going to stare quizzically at the other two because of their intro. It's Jordan the Man, Jordan Pesket. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Jordan. <laughs> Best thing that happened to you this week? Um, it was Gamescom this week. It was. Yeah. There was a lot of trailers, a lot of good trailers. Uh -huh, any yeah. bad trailers, actually? Any trailers that you're like, meh? Watchdogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what killed me about Watchdogs? <laughs> Is their big problem in the last one at launch, anyways, was their s their seamless multiplayer. And the first thing they talk about in their trailer is jump in and out seamlessly with your friends in their world. I hate that. I hate that. Do do. Uh, do I mean, in co in concept, it's a great idea, but it has to work. Yeah, utopia in concept is a great idea it's too. True. but it just doesn't exist. It's true. You you know what I mean? There are things that are a great idea in real life that just can't happen <laughs> because of the nature of whatever we are. I mean, I'm getting philosophical here. We cannot... It, world peace, for example, is incredibly difficult if you have your Hitlers or your Stalins, you know? You know what I mean? When you have those people out there... What's going on? What oh, you, nothing, nothing. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm being all philosophical, no, and, I'm, you're, I'm, and you're, like, I'm bored listening. of that already? No, I'm listening. <laughs> okay. No, you, you, it's like, you know, it's a good concept, but seamless multiplayer, I'm going to put that on Hitler, you know? It's, a, it's the same as Hitler. It does... It can't, it can't exist. Just wait, why am I putting that on Hitler? No, it's related to Hitler because world peace. You know what I mean? So st look at me. Look at me, David. I am. I'm just listening. Oh. I'm just listening. You're, you're, making, me, uh, you're making me scared about no, what I'm saying. Sometimes I have to focus. I have to not look. Oh, you know? okay. Well, you're like looking at, at chat. No, that's okay. Okay, anyways, it, it's seamless multiplayer. It doesn't exist, and it hasn't existed ever. And it just breaks games. That's all I'm saying. I would agree with that. Okay, sorry, no, I just, I, sorry, I just went off on that. We are the X One Bros. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, is that why you didn't like the uh, the the Watch Dogs trailer? Is this, that that's what they announced? Uh, yeah, it's one reason. One reason. One of. Uh, are you couple. playing video games right now, Jordan? No, I'm. I'm just. Yeah, uh, Jordan is on the Xbox. Literally, you can't I, see um, it because it, anyone watching live, you can see he's looking off left <laughs> of camera, and he has a controller in his hand that he's hiding under the table here. I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, announcements: so. the Fantasy Football League is going up. To sign up, head over to uh, the forums and click on the calendar. It will be the draft will be September third, which is a Saturday at one p.m. Eastern or ten a.m. Pacific. Uh, we've had quite a few signups. The cutoff date to sign up will be August the twenty eighth, which is the week before. The reason we're going to have this cutoff date is because uh, Mad Shot and myself have to get together and email everybody the rules, figure out the drafts, and so we got to have that final number. There are quite a few people who wanted to sign up uh, and put their names inside the forum in the stream that it is, uh, th where we announced the fantasy football. We're not going to go through and grab email addresses from there, so just go, you got to go click on the calendar and sign up uh, using the forum's inside the calendar. So it's going to be fun. We have a huge, we have a big group already. It's, let me put it this way. It's one of the biggest fantasy football leagues I've ever been in. Awesome. Which, cool. is, not, which is not saying a whole lot, but. No. But yeah, mean, so go sign up. It's going to be a good time. We're talking about maybe putting together a fantasy football uh, trophy prize, you know, when you're playing for something. It means so much more. Yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Rocket League tournament is September 10th at 11 a.m. Eastern. This is one of the funnest tournaments we've ever done. Jordan the Man uh, was a big part of the last one. Yeah, it was had fun. a blast. I, I had to work that day, and I came home, and Jordan was just laughing his, his socks off, telling me all the stories that happened. Yeah. It'll happen on one day. Everybody shows up. You all play your matches within the span of two or three hours. A champion is crowned, and that is it. And that makes for some good times. It was. It was a lot of fun. Last a lot of were but there. not least, the Titanfall Network, well, not last, actually, we got two more things. The Titanfall Network is up. 
Titanfall 2, uh, what is this, Alpha, Beta? What is this? Tech test. Tech test. Pre-alpha tech test. The pre-alpha tech test. There it is right there on screen. Uh, is up, and we have a network. <laughs> on uh, our screen that no one else can see. Yes. <laughs> we have a network up. There's actually There was actually only two X1 Bros networks created. Go to the one with more people. We already have yeah. 65 people who have jo- jumped in and signed up for the network. Let me tell you about this network, guys. It is going to be amazing. If if multiplayer goes this direction, at least what they're advertising this to be, it's a game changer. Yeah. A game changer. Very cool. The way that you'll basically, if you're in a Titanfall, you'll be able to sit there and anyone at any time will be able to say, hey, I'm playing right now, and, and it'll grab from our network. So What's, you'll always have X1 Bros, yeah. members of the community, to play with. And when you're in multiplayer, it'll show who's what, because you can join multiple networks. Like you yeah. can join IGN's network, but still be in our network. Right, um, so the current network that you have active, it'll show in the bottom of your screen in multiplayer, and it'll tell you everybody who's on. And they went one step further, and they decided to uh, put a button where you can just invite everybody from the network by the click of one button, not seamless. Yeah, but by invite the everyone, and then button. the first it'll be like first come first serve a yeah. rush to join your mm-hmm. party real quick. So you can invite individual friends via a button, or you can invite the whole clan network via a button, which yeah. is something I really appreciate. Yeah, no, absolutely. And that makes the game more seamless because there's no problems. Yeah, yeah, Ab- absolutely. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. We already have 65 people. Big shout out to Shebrew who jumped on first thing in the morning and locked up that name for us. Jordan actually locked it up simultaneously. We didn't realize it happened. Yeah, well, so you- there's two out there. We're trying to delete the other one, but. Uh, since it's a pre-alpha test, there's all kinds of things. It's not letting us do it. As soon so, as it does, it'll be gone. But in the meantime, yes. if you search X1 Bros on the Titanfall 2 network uh, system or in-game, it's the call sign X Bro. Call sign X Bro. That's the network you want to join. X B R O. It currently has 66 people in it. The one with two people you don't want to join. And if you did join the one, which looks like we only <laughs> have one, there's one other person. Yeah. C C Y D. <laughs> That's a good name. CYD83. So don't be offended when I say this, but I'm trying to kick, kick you, you out, out of this one. so I can delete it because I can't delete it unless I'm the only one in there. Yeah. So if you don't mind leaving because it's not letting me kick I am you really out. excited. Yeah, for if this you don't network. mind leaving when you hear this, leaving that network and then going to the other X1 Bros network, I'll get this one deleted so then there's no confusion. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, back to the Rocket League uh, tournament. Oh, there will be prizes for the winner. There will be Xbox Live gift cards for the winner. Just another reason to join. Oh, to, to sign up for that, also head over yeah. to Forums Calendar. That's where you sign up for all of our tournaments and, cal- and stuff mm-hmm. over there. And for the networks, just to make it easy, when you hover over it, it'll say Founder. One says my name and one says Shebrew. To make it easy, just join the one that says Shebrew. Boom. And, that, mm. yeah, that, and then you'll be in the one with, with all of us. And in case you're so, wondering, and, and then we in, will we will try and get rid of this. Yeah. In case you're wondering, and you're still into dinosaurs, and Rust, well, Ark Survival. That's right. That server's still there. Official Xbox server four five three. That is where the X One Bros tribe is, and it's alive and well. So make sure you head over and join that. And as always, don't forget if you're looking to have a nice discussion, join us on Facebook every week. Join us over in our X One Bros forums. It's a great place to meet people to look for players to play with, and et cetera, et cetera. Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. Name that show. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, it's uh, Seinfeld. Boom. Yeah. Boom. He chooses the... He, he la, yada, la, la, la. yada, yada, sex. That's the one. <laughs> she just yada, yada, sex. Yada, yada, sex. <laughs> yeah, I know. You can't, you can't yada, 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 sex. sex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yada, yada, sex. <laughs> I've yada yada sex. Okay, that's good, David. <laughs> I just said sex like 12 times. I know, I know. You're good. Yeah. Way to go, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. And with that, let's get this show on the road. Seinfeld is a good show, by the way. Uh, one of my favorites of all time. Yeah, mm-hmm. like there are like every episode you watch is a classic. Yeah, it has this very specific type of comedy, and if you're not into that type of silly situational comedy, it's you're not gonna like it. But if you are, it's one of the best. Yeah, I would agree. Ever, Jordan. <laughs> What is happening in the world that is Xbox One this week? Well, first things first, a lot of stuff because it was Gamescom, so a lot of trailers. But Madden. 17 is now available to those that have EA access. Yes. And 
if you play during those dates, you do have to sign up over at Madden.com, mm-hmm. I think. But uh, if you play during these, uh, what does it come out? Tuesday is when the like worldwide yeah, releases. Yeah, if, if you play this weekend. Yeah, if you play this weekend, basically, uh, you are automatically entered in a drawing to win two Super Bowl tickets. Yes. That is awesome. So you do have to, from what I saw, you do have to go to EA and sign up. Basically, just click the Madden link, and it'll it'll take you all the way through it, and it's advertised on yeah, their what page. You but actu- what you actually have to do um, is win three draft champions unranked during this first play window. Oh, okay. So, so that's why I so you have ten hours to play. I've saved my hours to win three draft champions, so I could go to the Super Bowl, baby. Maybe at this time in February, we will be broadcasting live from the Super Bowl. From the Super Bowl. Yeah, that, would be, that would be awesome. And you're that welcome. Cool. <laughs> How many well, tickets do you get? Two. So he has to oh. choose one of us. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's like the beginning of I'm on a boat by Lonely <laughs> Island. We, he's choosing his tickets to go on the boat. Oh, you would we, take Tiffany probably, right? No, no. Why would you? Why would I would probably to take the Super Bowl. I would probably, probably take, take your, my dad. Your dad, yeah. yeah. He would love that. <laughs> that would be a blast. Hmm. We would have a good time. Wait, how do I win? I want. I want. Wait, do, are they only doing one set of tickets? Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna win it, and I'm gonna take your dad. Well, listen to this. EA Access. Team, <laughs> so suck it. EA Access team will produce and cover the cost for two Super Bowl tickets. Uh, seating to be determined. Microsoft. Will cover all travel expenses for winter, provided they document the experience of attending Super Bowl Fifty One for release in a promotional video to be released later by Microsoft. So if I win, X One Bros shirt, X One Bros dot com, all the way, baby. That would be super cool. Yeah. Well, do we have to document it? Because that yeah, would be some pretty would fun be vods. Even awesome. That would be even. And then we just submit it. Submit just it. Just spin them. around in circles oh, while you're talking, awesome. Ooh, like a, ha- a helmet cam. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. <laughs> just yeah. running around. Yeah. Man, we would make that. Absolutely awesome. Anyways, Madden, back to the news. Madden, yep. is, Madden out. is out now for EA Access members, and if you want to try and win tickets to the Super Bowl, that's how you do it. Also, Prominence Poker is now out. I downloaded this, this. week. It I was... wanted to try it. Did any of us get a chance to try this? No. Ah, but I'm not all that great at. Poker, I was watching so. people play it. It looks like a good time. It looks like an improved poker game, in my opinion. I played it. Oh, you did play it. I got. I was a good probably two hours or so on it. Uh, thoughts? Let's get your thoughts on that real quick. Right now. Right want, now. Because let's do it right now. We don't mess around. Let me put my drink down. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm a huge poker fan. Okay. I love poker. Yes, I, you do. I spend a lot of time watching online poker, like Jay Carver on and Twitch. And the everything. other poker game you felt was flawed. Yes. Which, that is not a subjective opinion. It was flawed. It is flawed. Every, like, every hand, you had some power, power hand. Everybody had power hands. So it's like the end scene in Maverick. Where yeah. everything has something bigger than someone else, and that just doesn't happen in poker. Yeah. Um, if you see the highlights, it feels like it happens, but it really doesn't. So that that I think is a flaw because they tilt the, you know, the cards into making people bet, which I didn't like. This game, however, um, it's a totally different feel. the The original poker game. Uh, what was the original poker game name? Pure yeah. Poker. Yeah, that's that, right. The one on the Xbox yeah, One. I think it's Pure Hold'em, right? Or Pure Hold'em. Yeah, the one that we all play. Um, that one. That one tends to try to give you the feel. This is the game that was flawed, and I'm comparing it directly because they're the same game. Sure. Um, this is the one that was flawed, but this game tended to wanted to make you feel like you were actually at the table. You pulled up your cards. You could look at your cards. It didn't show your cards after you put them. You know, um, mucked them and everything, so you mm-hmm. couldn't s- remember what you had. It was trying to get you the atmospheric element of a poker in in a casino. Okay, that's that was the goal of that game. Sure. So it was more like a simulator, but it was you know it's yeah. poker, but whatever. This game, when you first start it, you get a. <laughs> this is gonna sound weird. You get a bad company vibe, <laughs> and I'm not kidding. Well, I've seen from the animations. I I can understand why you would say that. At the music, the I, f- it was like it's very different. I spent a good fifteen minutes creating my character because you can you know create the hair and it's wacky hair and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, it it by the way, this game is free, so you have nothing to lose by getting it. I really enjoyed playing this game, and I liked it because it has the it has the tendency to want you to keep playing. Because you're getting all these unlocks. It's like, you remember when Modern Warfare 2 started putting all their um, achievements and, and stuff right on the screen? Headshot sure. and plus 5, yeah. plus 10, plus all this stuff. And then your XP is going crazy and everything. This game does that same thing where every play... Um, first of all, you have dailies and stuff, which is great. But every play 
you are adding two challenges, and those challenges give you um, level you up. There's a leveling yeah. system. Um, it's like an RPG for poker. Ish, yeah, and there's it's it's free to play, but there's an extensive cosmetic library that you can spend what you've earned, or you know you your the cash you've earned, and it's ex- it's way expensive, so you have to play a lot. Um, but I really I really enjoyed it. I actually I think the show Ocean's Eleven influenced this as well because I think it's kind of a hybrid between Bad <laughs> Company st- art style and everything, music wise, and Ocean's Eleven, which makes sense because of the nature of that movie. Um, but I, I, uh, I don't mean to take so long on this game, but I really enjoyed playing it. I threw on Ocean's Eleven after I played because I liked that movie. Liked it that much. Yeah, and that's good because we need a good poker game. It's super fun. Yeah. It's not your normal poker. It's it doesn't take itself seriously. Um, and and this is coming from a fan of poker. Yeah. Of of holding. Where you wouldn't have a problem with a game that did take itself seriously. Yeah. I, what yeah. you're saying is. They do a good job of what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, and uh, there's actually there's actually a single player story. Um, when you start out, um, it's it's very they did it very well. Like the tutorial, mm-hmm. they it starts out you this uh, you're in the middle of a story, and it as you're playing, there's a narrator of the person you're playing against. Oh, interesting. And so the the new player was he he played this and did this and it threw me off, you know. That's and that's cool. you. And it's super I want to play the single player because you don't play that character later until you he's like the end boss and you and you kind of beat him in a so way. So they're and building up you. this guy while you're playing. While you're, you're playing because you're in his thoughts, you but you're it. playing over here. It's ah. it's a very as far as poker game goes, remember this is just a game of poker, so don't expect much, but they took it at a different angle that I really enjoyed. Huh. So, that said, I'm going to play it more, and it's it's incredibly fun because I just I love poker, and That's I love I love getting challenges, leveling things up. The, like the first game after that first game you played, I th- I think my screen was on the the unlock. It sits there and kukun, 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 yeah. unlock stuff uh-huh. for a good three minutes. Wow. There's so many unlockables and it's challenges and it's just I played so the two hours I played besides the single player tutorial um, was all online and um, I did fairly well by the way you oh, know congr- and, well congratulations uh, thank you thank you they have tournaments and everything it's a good game so poker I'll end up, night, poker night here we come I know I <laughs> really had a good time they have private tables and everything too nice. so um, ranked is not available yet it's still coming but hopefully that that whets your appetite for this game I know that sure. was a good. What, five, six no, minutes? No, that was fantastic. I mean, that gets me excited for this game. I was really looking forward to it. It looks really cool. So that's good to hear that, it's, that it is legit. Yeah, it's, a fun, it's very fun. And the, the, the problem I had with the other game was they tilted the hands. You know, they, they, they made everybody have good hands. This one is not like that at all. Yeah. It's, it feels like you win with the highest card sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're bluffing yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. It's really good. It's a, it's a good game. Good. That's good to hear. Yeah, so we also got... We already talked about this, but Watch Dogs 2 online multiplayer co-op and PvP trailer that came out. Okay, now I will admit, we gave it a hard time because of some features that we didn't like in the first one. Granted, we only played the first one at very release, and it was completely broken at release, so we we really didn't play it. I know now a lot of people will say, well, it's fixed, and it's actually a really good game. I will say, the animations in this game and the graphics and the fighting system and and what they're trying to do, the concept, does look really cool. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. As long as it, as lo- we give it a hard time because of the first one when we went to play it was yeah. broken. Well, and the first one wasn't necessarily a bad game. We're talking no, about Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs. Yeah, yeah but yeah. it just it just didn't work. Yeah, if you haven't seen this trailer, so. go check it out. I think I think Whoa. it does actually look pretty cool with what they're trying to do. Um, it's a little political for my taste, but that's fine. That's fine <laughs> if that's what you like in your game. <laughs> go right ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, do they have a? I press X to invite a friend. No. Well, from they haven't said that they might in the release, but from this trailer, it is a seamless multiplayer experience. If there's anything I've learned from Brink, well, <laughs> you need to have well, a even, blue button or X button to invite even, somebody in. Even, but it's kind of when I was watching the trailer, like you pull up your cell phone and you do stuff like on there, kind of like on Grand yeah. Theft Auto Five. Yeah, but that doesn't work either. That's a terrible so, system. <laughs> yeah. it's absolutely, it, yeah. ru- it it ruins one of the best games ever made. Given it's probably not the cell phone UI that's bad, it's just the network that's bad. <laughs> yeah. But still, like it's just I don't know. It, it looks, it does look pretty, but uh, we'll see. I this is one 
I'm going to wait and watch people play it, and then I'll decide if I want to buy it from there or not, you know? But anyway, be sure to check that out. Also, The Crew, another Ubisoft game, yeah. uh, has another expansion coming out. So they had the Wild Run expansion. Now they have the uh, Police Chase Fantasy expansion, which is coming out, called Calling All Units. Oh. So, uh... I like that. Yeah. Sounds exciting and exciting. So there is a little gameplay over at GameSpot. If you guys want to watch it, basically just it's a cop chase. So the crew is free on EA Access. I've yet to play it. Have you played it? Yeah. Actually, I have I started playing it this week okay. because I was actually at your house oh, yeah, that's watching. Right. Uh, house sitting. Yeah, basically. yeah, basically. And I was like, well, I'm just going to watch Netflix. So I watched Netflix and I was like, oh, look, they put Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift on Netflix, right? And I already watched the other two on Netflix. Sure. And... This is your progression so like, of thought. Well, yeah. So like, yeah. Crew. So anyway, <laughs> those those movies, in my opinion, are all really bad movies, but they're the kind of bad that you like. Oh yeah, yeah. and you yeah. like yeah. Sharknado. Yeah, and you just want to watch <laughs> it, right? So I watched the other two, and I watched this one. I was like, wow, I really want to play a racing game. So I thought of Forza, but I was like, ah, oh, that's not street racing. You know, that's yeah. real racing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh well, I have the crew. So I downloaded the crew, and it's really fun. It's super super arcadey. Like if yeah, if you absolutely. if you like Forza. And you know, want an experience like style. Forza? Crew is not. This it. is not for you. It's yeah. it's really really arcadey, which is fun. There's nothing wrong with arcadey sh- uh, racers, but it's it's just different than Forza. But it's really fun. I like it. They have connectivity issues, which makes me think Watch Dogs is still going to have connectivity issues because the crew is the crew is EA. The crew is Ubisoft. Oh, Need for Speed is EA. Yeah, Need for That's Speed. That's why is I got that mixed up. I had this error. It's uh, three underscore nine underscore thirty nine. Whatever. I looked it up, but it's basically uh, the game is in an infinite load screen because it's trying to connect to the server and it's not hitting no. it. So it and we don't have you bad out. bad internet. No, not, no, not, no, not not. And I was at your house when I did this, and the same thing. It's it's a fun game and I like to play, but the connectivity issues are hampering it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, oh, and that's, then that's a that sound, and then and then sounds normal. And then right after that, I saw the Watch Dogs seamless online multiplayer trailer. <laughs> so it wasn't. It was just. It was so just it, although so the it division, was another kick in the pants. Yeah, although the division had really good connectivity. So I mean, but anyway, the crew next expansion. If you want to be a, in a police chase fantasy, is how they're describing it. Then calling all units is for you, and I believe that is coming out November 29th. So that's coming up pretty soon here. Uh, we also got some Star Wars Battlefront news. So. I got this email, actually, yeah. You had Star Wars emailed you? Yeah. The, are you not on their email list? Jo- no. Nick Spicy and George Lucas exchange <laughs> yeah. emails like once a week. Where have you been? Yeah. <laughs> we, anyway. we, you, you sh- you'll see us at Starbucks occasionally. Yeah, Spicy gets consulting fees for that. Uh, but anyway, every, everything but uh, episode one, two, and three. So, yeah, he, yeah I had nothing to do with Spicy those. was brought in after those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, More like an episode seven kind of you thing. You advised him on the Disney deal. Correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just get out, man. Yeah. <laughs> just, just get out <laughs> for billions of dollars. <laughs> just, just walk away. Um, so uh, EA announced this week uh, during Gamescom. We all know Death Star is the next expansion that's coming, and for those who are wanting more of that space combat, which the originals had, um, this is for you. You're, you'll be in space, which is pretty cool. This one's actually really cool. So when this expansion launches, and yes, it's a part of the season pass. If not, you'll have to buy it separately. But what you'll do is they kind of there's an objective when you first when you first load in the game, right? Okay. You're going to be the rebels, from what I understand. You might be the other side because they'll probably make you play both sides. But you will be the uh, X-wing going down the tunnel trying to destroy the Death Star. From what it sounds like, that's awesome. So I'll read it. Can't the, be more than five meters big. Yeah. The objective of this phase is for the rebels to kill enough Tie fighters to clear a path. Uh, for a team of Y-Wing support ships to lay down fire and weaken the Star Destroyer's defenses, and then it goes on you play a couple more. After the shields are low, rebel players can shoot the ship in its weak spots to eventually bring it down, but they compare it to... So it's not, you know, you're not exactly like the movie, right? But they compare it to doing that. Like, yeah. you know, you're going down to the Death Star. and So very cool. Yeah, really cool. So And then, of course, you'll go to next other stages, which will then lead indoors and stuff like that, which is, is really cool. It's, it's kind of shaping up to be a pretty cool expansion or DLC for Battlefront. And Battlefront, if you have it, jump back into it. It's it's fun to go back into every once in a while. Who timed me out in chat? Was that you, David? That was me, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Because I, I mentioned Brink. Where we hold each other accountable. <laughs> 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 I mentioned Brink, so I got timed out. I, and it was called for. All Everyone was saying, time out, time out. So. <laughs> oh, jeez. You mentioned it again. There was another timeout. <laughs> 
Uh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, Thank you. All right. So uh, moving on. Uh, oh, sorry. Death Star should be coming out sometime next month. Uh, and if it's anything like the other uh, game mode season pass holders will get a little bit early and then it'll come out for the public after that. Uh, Resident Evil 7, getting into all the trailers that we had this week, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard had a Gamescom trailer called The Lantern, and it was really scary. <laughs> yeah, no, it really was. I was scared watching it, the whole thing. Basically, the trailer is you, so you know in Resident Evil 7 you're in a first-person perspective. The trailer is you as, I believe, uh, you were a girl character at the time by her voice, right? Okay. So, but, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I know. You never yeah, know yeah. anymore. Um, anyway, there was this old creepy lady holding this lantern attached to, like, this stick, and the girl was trying to run away from her, and you were the player trying to run away, hiding in different places as she walked in the rooms and stuff. It was pretty creepy looking. Yeah. And then at the end, there's this kind of thing at the I won't spoil it. But it was, uh, it looked really, and they said they wanted to go back to those horror, those horror roots. So they definitely did it with that trailer. Yeah. But anyway, it looked pretty cool, so be sure to check it out. To me, I don't know if this is because of VR or or how it's going to... I mean, I know it's still in development, but it might have been my computer. The graphics, the graphics, they looked good, but they looked really blurry. Like, it didn't look crisp. Okay. But I don't know if that's because it's also in development for VR or if it's just that's just it's not done yet or if that's just a part of the art style. The art style to it, make it even more to scarier. make it even more a little yeah. so I don't I don't know. But I mean it wasn't by any means bad looking. It's just something I noticed. So but it was mm. it was it was a good trailer. I like Resident Evil Resident Evil series, so I'll be excited when this comes out next year. Next year. Yes, early next year. Have you guys completed your Resident Evil? No, not yet. No, yet? we are probably 60%. Yeah, 60, we're almost there. 65% uh, finished. Okay, okay, I want you guys to set a goal right here, right now. When when will you finish this game? <laughs> that's a- hard. End of next month. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's, a- end of next good. month? Yeah, because so that's when that's all the, the games start September. coming Okay, out. we have to yeah. finish it by or then. Not by, or it's not going to happen <laughs> for a very long time. Before October, you must yeah. finish Resident Evil. Okay, done. Okay. Sealed. Yeah. Okay, Boom. I'll hold you to it. Uh, hold us to that, chat. Hold us to that. All world, right, they're also... World. Chat world. <laughs> there also was another trailer and a new announcement for a new game. Metal Gear Survive yeah. was announced. This looked really cool, And actually. basically... Um, it's really left for dead just in the Metal Gear Solid universe. Universe. With, that's <laughs> with, with, pretty sweet. With yeah. the Metal yeah. Gear Solid executions Weirdness. and kills. It's and that awesome. noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it actually looked uh, pretty cool. I, from what I, what I also read, it's not going to be a full $60 game, so that's nice. Save a little, save a little money. But uh, very cool. Four-player stealth game set after Ground Zeroes. That's sweet. In the trailer, the... The characters are sucked up into this mystical portal and thrown out into this yeah. mystical world fighting With these mystical zombies. beasts. Yeah, mystical zombies. <laughs> and it's a four player survival game. Dude, you have <laughs> to respect the balls to be weird. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Amen, that brother. Is, that's, that's what I, that is what I appreciate about Japanese games. It definitely get, gets your attention. That so. takes courage. Yeah. It does. It does. But uh, anyway, that is also coming out, and uh, it's it's looking uh, pretty cool. How do we make zombie killing more interesting? <laughs> Let's put it in the Metal Gear universe <laughs> yeah. and pull them, and have into them vortex. teleported <laughs> into a different world, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a parallel zombie uh, universe. Oh man, that's good. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, for honor. Had a pretty big week. I Dude, saw them everywhere at uh, am... Gamescom, and this this is uh, this is my version of Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, I am really looking you know, forward because Dynasty to this Warriors game. was a good game, but well, this is, it's makes a, it even more. It's a triple A version of Chivalry. I'm in. Yeah, yeah, Chivalry with Dynasty Warriors. I did yeah, not uh, stop laughing. My stomach hurt after well, that. You game. won't laugh during this. You remember like you said it's serious. bad. It's hurt. so bad in the right way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's Chivalry. <laughs> it's yeah, just this, so bad. You won't be laughing. This one's it's brutal, but okay, cool. cool. Uh, basically, uh, they they have a new trailer. Be sure to check that out. That's pretty cool. But there's the three factions, and they go through a lot of multiplayer um, gameplay, if you will. Mm. Uh, I uh, will. Yeah. I will. Every a lot of people got to play, but it's really cool. Um, they say 
one on one is incredibly satisfying, and it's really fun to fight another player one on one because of how the mechanics work. Mm -hmm. Like you can attack, you can block, and how you block and stuff like that. They said when it gets two on one, that's when it's r it's hard. It's tough. But that would be hard in real life too. Yeah, two so, on one is no picnic. Yeah, unless you're Batman. Unless so you're uh, Batman. yeah. Yes. So basically, they're and talking 500 about 500 on one, it, maybe it, equal it, odds. Yeah. It encourages you maybe not to solo a little bit, maybe run around with a teammate or so. But anyway, just really cool looking game. The I new would trailer solo. is really cool. I would solo just to run and then find somebody fighting someone else. Yeah, yeah, you can. And, just, and then yeah, hack and the gank the, people, yeah. the leg, you know, right where the ankle is, so yeah. they can't run after you. <laughs> is there is, is there like the, mechanics like that? I'm really looking forward for Four Honor. I don't think so. I, there better be. I don't know. The release date is February 14th. Next nice, year. nice Valentine's Day gift for your loved one. <laughs> for honor, wink, wink. Uh, anyway, nothing, be sure nothing to, says I love you. Be sure to check more out than the, a gruesome, than a first person <laughs> medieval sword fighting, sword fighting third game. person, third person. Sorry, yeah. and nothing says I love you like that. Yeah. No, you think chocolates were something? <laughs> you think uh. chocolate or a weekend away somewhere? No, no. How about a weekend going in the war. medieval world? Fighting Asians, Vikings, and knights, mm -hmm. and a pizza, <laughs> and pizza. Uh, it's a good day. It's a Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's a Mountain Dew. So be sure to check out the new Four Valentine's Honor trailer day. that they have, uh, showing off the three factions: the knights, the Vikings, and the samurais. And by the way, way to pick the three coolest factions. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what was that? Vikings. Hands down. Vikings, knights, and samurai. I mm. I feel you could have threw in the barbarians, but let's be honest, they kind of fall under Vikings, oh, right? Yeah. The yeah. Vikings. I'm are not a kind of. I'm not yeah. a historian, but similar. I mean, they're both European based, right? Yeah, those, let's just count those them all Nordics. Yeah. They were conquerors and, and barbarians. Germanians, yeah. Yeah. right? Germanians yeah. or oh, barbarians, yeah. Oh, yeah. right? Yeah, I'm there. Yeah. What about well, what, what? Well, they were barbarians during Roman time. Yeah, that's this Germania. Germania was like all of Europe. This is at, at least one point. according but to the history uh, that I know via Gladiator. Yeah, Glad they that's the true. Germanians yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he holds the head up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, be that's sure how, to check. That's, that's how I get all my knowledge. Which, can I say, why would you ever be the guy that goes for truce or goes to ask the barbarians to surrender? Uh, yeah, he must that, get, that guy. Well, he. I wonder if they get paid well. They. Well, well your head is cut off. Yeah. Well, how good is money when you're dead? <laughs> when you go, when you go to Genghis Khan and say, "Hey, surrender to us," and we but will, see, we will let there you are pay so, tribute. There are. You Maybe think Genghis Khan is going to take that kindly. So, I've seen Marco Polo. He will. He will chop you off and torture you. Well, first he'll torture. Did the you, Romans then beat Genghis Khan? I don't know who. I, I'm. I'm not. I believe the part. bow and arrow. Well, I'm not <laughs> Genghis Khan. I'm not, I'm not no. to that part in Marco Fried Polo yet. Chicken. Yeah. I get all my where he's at. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. You see the show. I believe cholesterol <laughs> yeah. from Bill and Ted's yeah. Excellent Adventure. That's how I know Genghis Khan is from that movie. Uh, he ate a lot of chicken. We get our history from Netflix. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's Netflix originals. Well, I mean, when you are the world's <laughs> dominating power by far, as the Roman Empire was, I guess being a Surrender eating, guy. eating a lot of chicken Being a surrender and, guy and having a lot of ladies. Of a job. I heard a stat one time that Genghis Khan was like, we were all ancestors of Genghis Khan because of how promiscuous he oh, was. I've seen Marco. Have you seen Marco yeah, Polo? I have not seen that. Just watch episode Just one. Watch episode no, one. I've yeah. I've seen Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and he is eating chicken and making out with a girl at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> that guy knows, and then they they tempt him with a Twinkie. Oh. <laughs> that's a great movie. That's how I know Genghis uh, Khan. That's Back funny. to the news. <laughs> yeah, the next news story is by far, in my opinion, the best news story of the week. Uh, Battlefield One came out with a new trailer at why Gamescom. Don't, why don't we describe for the listeners who might not have seen this? what this trailer is like. The best trailer I've ever seen. Okay. So the trailer basically takes place in the desert in Africa. They're showing off a new map. Yeah. In during this World War One, there is I mean what well, I have never seen a first out, person shooter do anything like they're doing it. It starts out with this guy in a stand, sandstorm going, oh man, what do I do, right? And then he turns around and gets killed by a man on a horse with a sword. Yeah. Oh, Which, yeah. yes, could be you which, as a player. Which then flashes <laughs> this up. This could be you. Which then flashes up to World War One style planes dropping bombs across the desert. And as you're running, as another player is running to dodge them, he turns on the train tracks and gets hit by a train. And then a dust storm is coming 
all in game. Yeah, one to the backdrop of Johnny Cash. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, a, a good, a updated Johnny Cash to the do 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 beat oh. of uh, Battlefield. So mm. so good. Go check it out. YouTube Battlefield One Gamescon gameplay trailer. Crazy. Let us know what you think, Jordan. Very cool. Best trailer that you've seen. Where do you rank this in your trailers? Because your favorite one, I believe, is Gears of War. Those are good trailers. Gears of War. I one, think this is uh, War one. Yeah, I, think, World. I think this is the best trailer I've ever seen. Wow. Yeah. Does it that does does that much for you, huh? Yeah. Well, so my most excited, most anticipated game for this year was Final Fantasy. Now it's this. Now oh. it's Battlefield One yeah. because of that trailer. Because of that trailer, that trailer was so. And the first one was so good. And this one makes the first one look like it sucked. Yeah, I I would agree with that. Yeah, this one puts the. I wouldn't say it sucked. It, no, no, it didn't suck. But the, it, how good this trailer yeah, is okay. makes it look it's like it good. did. They it's took it good. to a new level. Like I think the intern did the first trailer, and then they had the real guys do this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, the first trailer's absolutely I know, fantastic. But that's how good the second trailer is. <laughs> but you can't just. Okay. The first trailer I is get, like, I get what you're saying. I get what like you're saying. It's like varsity, all right? The first trailer is like varsity football. You're good. You're the best in your school, you know, hands down. The second trailer is like the NFL Super Bowl team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. When that guy got hit by the train. I would say it's not my favorite, but I really like it. It's up there. Up there? Top five? Probably. Top three? Uh, I don't know, because I really like Witcher 2. You, that trailer that was amazing. Trailer, yes. and that's just that's not by edit. Like the the reason that ed, the the Battlefield one the song and the edit is absolutely outstanding. Yeah. Witcher two was storytelling. Witcher two storytelling was just mm-hmm. I can't get over how good that trailer is. And you don't you really like the uh, the World of Warcraft um, trailer with. The king, what's his name? Whatever. Is that the one where they're on the, they're on the, oh, airship? the airship? Yeah, I, I do. I, li- I like no, all not, those trailers. Not that one. The old the, the the Lich King, the Lich King trailer. Don't you really like that? I hear that one. I've seen that one. That one's very good. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't they're know all what's good. going on, but I think that one's very good. <laughs> no, yeah, they're all good, but this is better. Like this is this is good. It's very good. It's very good. Yeah. I still have. This isn't even their launch trailer. And then the launch trailer is the one that's supposed to get y'all Witcher pumped up. Witcher Three's trailer with the witch. That was good. Oh, that was good. That yeah. was very And good. that's storytelling, too. So that is storytelling. It, Battlefield's one, they don't really have a story, although you seem like there's a story because at the end. Yeah. Well, that's with, from their campaign. With Lawrence yeah, of Arabia. So, yeah. But really who cool. plays those? I well, mean, 2% of I might. People. It got me interested. I, I like the Bad Company campaign. That was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> in this world. Uh, no, but so, but so there might be story, but yeah. So I would have to, and Mad World with that music, mm-hmm. with uh, Gears of War. I, I don't know. There's so many good ones out there. I think personally that this is up there as the, one of the top best that we'll look back and go, yeah, that's really good. But I don't think it's my favorite one. Mm-hmm. But that's not, you know, not trying to be a downer or anything. And I'm talking to myself because David's typing and Jordan's looking <laughs> no, at listen. chat. I would s- see. Watch this. Watch. Talk to me. Yeah, I have no problem with that. I, in fact, I find the side of your head uh, more attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's more pleasant to talk to. <laughs> it is my left that side. Left my left side is my blows me away. Uh, I would agree with Jordan on mine. It, I mean, when you say it's the greatest of all time, it's probably maybe tied. But for what it's supposed to do. I will say it got me uber ex- This is how my Battlefield 1 wasn't super interested like the idea of going back to World War 1. Yeah. The first trailer super pumped. E3 think- deflated that quite drastically. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's because you got boring people to play. Yeah, they just did it so wrong. That's I don't because they suck Gamers at don't care about celebrities. So. I don't care if a celebrity some douchebag Jamie Foxx who's acting like an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> With Zac Efron. With Zac Efron. I actually like Zac Efron. never played the games in their you life. Like, <laughs> never mind. Keep going. Keep I going. I think Zac Efron thought. was trying to be nice. Jamie Foxx was an idiot. Snoop Dogg was cool. Snoop Dogg. Well, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg is an actual gamer. He was like trying to game. I know. Yeah. Jamie well, Foxx didn't care to be the there. The Red Spice guy knew how to play. Yeah, what is his name? Old Spice. Old mean. Spice. The Red Spice guy was pretty cool, too. <laughs> yeah. Old Spice guy. You know, the Jack yeah, the guy? guy yeah. The guy on... Re- or he's on tons of stuff. Yeah, he's he is. The Reno, no, I think not he's Reno on, 911. I think it's he's the on other one. one. My yeah. Everyone on hates Chris or something like that. He's, on, he's that on a lot yeah. of things. Very cool guy. Yeah. But they really deflated it, and this game got... This trailer surpassed... 
think, uh, my hype for it. I am super stoked for mm-hmm. it as a result of as a result of this trailer. I think one of the reasons the first trailer was so good to me was because it came with came at the same time at, or just so like five days before the Modern Warfare. Uh, yeah. oh, I think it came after the Modern Warfare. No, it, no, it came right it before. Came, right before. It came right before, yeah. and then and then Call of Duties came out, and it was like it was, Call of Duty it was, was like mm, I will say. Mm, mm, so mm, Call of Duty, mm, yeah. Call of Duty has been king, um, hands down. No, no, no question. Especially on first day sales and getting into it. But you've got to remember, it also has built up a community around it. I think Battlefield One. This might be the year that it it beats those sales records. Because it, it, it's at a point where it does have a pretty good following already, all of the battlefields. And when you pump out trailers like this, mm-hmm. and you already have excitement about going to World War I, you hype that up, maybe this yeah. is the year. Yeah. Maybe this is the year it beats that. No, I, it's, Especially it's, when it's Call of Duty trailers, that second one where you're in space fighting, it's okay, but it's not even close on the same level. No, this one's just Well, cool. it's because they have a, um, an amazing editor. Like yeah. that guy, well, and then and, and then audio engineer to do that to Johnny Cash and mix it with the battlefield theme. Well, because they well, use like the explosions as not a part o- of the yeah. not yeah. only that, but then the beauty of the frostbite engine, the frostbite yeah, engine. The, then the guy wearing the metal hat that gets shot, shot in the head, and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> and he has a big machine gun. Yeah, <laughs> Terry Crews. Yes, that's, that's the, guy. the guy. Oh, there he is. In Battlefield's defense, though, EA just sucks at press conferences. So that's maybe why your hype True. got lowered, you know. No, yeah. the, it's they know how to make a trailer, and they always have. Yeah, like uh, Battlefield 3's trailer was really good. Then they did their 12-minute play, and you were like going down underneath, and you could see the light. They, it's just their games are pretty, and they have the team that makes mm-hmm. really good hype around their game. Yeah. No. Yes. With the next story, are you guys glad Battlefield 1 is going back to World War 1 instead of to the sci-fi future like everyone else? Yes. Yes, it's refreshing. Yeah. Good. Cuz I'm also, I'm excited in, about that too. Being oh. in Africa and the deserts and then you're in Europe, that that range in maps really exciting. Yeah. How many ways did we see like <laughs> deaths in that trailer? Well, hey, yeah. that's actually a part of the news. <laughs> oh, is yeah. that really? Yeah, okay. No, it's funny you mentioned that. Oh. The reason do so they, do they count them? No, 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 no. But they talk. <laughs> that's my story. Yeah. Well, I was just about to talk no, about that. No, because they're they were asked uh, basically like you know you have Titanfall, you have Call of Duty, you got all the Halo, you got all these games that are take place in the sci-fi future, right? The sci-fi future setting, which there's nothing wrong with that. Titanfall is a fun game. You know, Halo is a fun game. They're yeah. all good games, right? But it's nice to go back to World War One, and they were asked why you know why'd you go back to World War One, and uh, design director Lars Gustavsson, okay, tells us why. Okay. okay. So he says, quote, every time we opened the research books, we found a new weapon or technique we did not know was used during World War I. The poop mis- shovel, poop <laughs> shovel, poop <laughs> shovel kill. The misconception that it was all trenches and slow-paced combat, but this was a war of first. These empires were experimenting with every chance they had. That's why you get all these crazy, intense weapons like <laughs> the train tank. I mean, do yeah. we even use those nowadays? <laughs> well, we should. Well, I mean, uh, that's intimidating. But it's the train on rails because there's not a lot of mobility if you're going well, no, in the, the train. I rails. would move out of the way. <laughs> the trains on wheels, <laughs> but like the tank stuff on, like oh, that yeah, it's yeah, carrying yeah. can turn right. The it's just basically what it sounds like is they they saw a lot of opportunity to go back, and yeah. I think it was the correct decision because yeah. it looks a lot Let's of like a lot further. of fun. Let's go back further. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Roll. Chivalry. Yeah. <laughs> so do the wait uh, for we honor. For honor. Yeah. Yeah. What, what 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 else what can we do? All right, and then Ark <laughs> after, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then for all of you that can't wait until I think October is when it comes out. Maybe November. I can't quite remember if one you want to look that up. I know tight. One of them's in October and one of them's in November. They're like a week apart. But uh, the Battlefield One beta is coming just at the end of this month. The open beta begins on August thirty first for Xbox One. So. So why jump not, in. Yeah, why that not play? A good time. You know, yeah. Do they say what maps will be available? They did not. They might have. I just don't know, actually. Oh, okay. But, oh, actually, they, they might have. Uh, explore the Sinai Desert. Oh, yeah. That was the map. In Battle the, the armored train. Charge on horseback. Try out two different modes. So, yeah. Yeah, they did, actually. Awesome. But I just kind of stopped at starts August 31st, and that's all I needed to know. <laughs> that's, 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 you're there. Uh, this next news story I think is hilarious. I watched, I watched some of these videos. I, I, hope they, I hope they release this with the game. Have you guys ever heard of the Oculus Rift? 
What, what about the nose killist riff? <laughs> Have you ever heard of that? No. So what that is, is South Park, the fractured butthole, is coming out. And in that game, you can poop in the toilet. And you well, can, you could in the first one yeah, too, yeah, but it wasn't a weapon. Yeah, and you can you can you can fart, <laughs> right? Just randomly. What they did is they invented the nose killer's rift to simulate that smell when you do those things. The nose killer's rift. I think that's what they were called because <laughs> I called it the nose killer's rift, but they called it the nose killer's rift. Have you rift. seen that's, the nose killer's? Yeah. I have not seen this. That's actually fascinating. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen the video on it? It's hilarious. What they did is they got perfume companies to come up with some disgusting smells That's, that mimic the toilet. Because, do you know the potential of this? I mean, yes, this is kind of a joke, <laughs> but you add another element of senses to your virtual reality? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what you could... That's amazing. I'm excited for taste. When taste <laughs> comes... That's what I'm excited so, for. Because you have hearing, sight, smell. It becomes four-dimensional instead of three-dimensional. They show... Is there such thing as four dimensions? Yeah, four dimension brings in... Smell and like stuff. okay. The I, have the, I have the X and I have the Y and the Z. Where's the the fourth dimension is like feels is, like, is like you're interactive. Yeah, is like uh, that's what's considered the fourth dimension. Like really, taste, touch. Mm-hmm. So that's we are in four dimension, four dimensional beings. Really, according to the Matrix, I believe. Yes, <laughs> 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 I must have taken the red pill. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what pill you took, but. Uh, my rabbit hole ended pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, anyway, so it shows a YouTube video of two people using this at Game. Well, there's tons of YouTube videos, but this is a. Um, it shows them using it, and basically, it lights up when you use it. And they said it smelled awful. Like they were like, "Well, that's just." Good. They had to take now, it off. Was after it a only couple of drinks. one type of smell? Or uh, well, no, they tested it. They did a normal fart, which smelled one way, and then they went and used the toilet, which supposedly smelled worse. <laughs> <laughs> so it was. That's... You've got to watch. It's just funny. I don't know. Whoever <laughs> thought that it was genius, but anyway, I hope you can somehow get that when you buy the game. That would be really cool. <laughs> What's it called? The Nozulus Rift, like the Oculus Rift. Because that's how, that that can bring about a lot of depth in gaming. It really could. Like yeah. imagine, like like playing Madden the... and you smell grass. When you're in the stadium. Yeah, or, or playing Battlefield 1. You smell and smoke. Smelk and then the metallic blood smell, you know? Yeah, you're yeah, just yeah. like, it's just like, it would, it would like put you, you'd start freaking out. Uh, oh, man. Anyway, that's so, how I want a game. I want to freak yeah, out. Yeah, so that was PTSD. pretty cool. Yeah. I, I really. Be sure to check that out. So um, we also have a bunch of cool trailers. Uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands trailers came out. Um, basically shows off. You know, I I really I have up, I have it, a lot of problems with this, so I don't want to say anything. The character and weapon customization, there you go, which does look really cool and really in depth. Um, I have the same problem with go. I I am a huge, huge, huge fan of all games Ghost Recon. Uh, the first Ghost Recon that I ever played was on the original Xbox. It was all about uh, using sound, sneaking around, being true snipers. Ghost Recon is based on. You're not seen. Yeah. You are ghost. a sniper. Ghost. Being you a are ghost. a ghost, yeah. Um, a lot like Sniper Elite, only modern day Tom Clancy mm-hmm. style. I would be even more, um, I would say even more Assassin's Creed than... than uh, yeah. You know, Assassin's you, Creed with guns. Yeah. You mm-hmm. are invisible. You are a ghost. Yeah. Then it evolved, and in a good way, evolved, and they went futuristic, and you now yeah, have future... S- Soldier. You had um, you could command soldiers. The single player modes were always mm-hmm. cool. You could command your soldiers to back you up, and they had different abilities. But, but you were again, still the sniper, and they were ghosts. Again, yeah. There was even a feature in Future Soldier, the latest game yeah. before this one, f- where you sniped all at the same time yeah. to avoid the detection. F- the mm-hmm. feel of Tom Clancy Ghost Recon has always been more simulation-y. It's not a simulation, but more simulation-y, mm-hmm. more like Arma. And much less arcade. Okay, yeah. Uh, I would say it's more like Rainbow Six, but with snipers. And go f- so far from what we've seen from Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, is it feels more like the Division. Mm-hmm. When I when I which see is much this, more arcadey, which when, is very arcade. When I see this, I feel like it's an awesome expansion to the Division. Yeah, but it just doesn't. F- and hey, it, it looks. Yeah. F- <laughs> 
<laughs> that's where it, the... it looks fun. I'm not saying it doesn't look fun, but it just doesn't look like Ghost Recon. It doesn't it looks look like, like the division. It it feels like Ghost Recon. I mean, that, you even have a even backpack. In, and in this, they didn't they didn't do anything to quell that. They just showed you all your guns. Meanwhile, the game play was incredibly fast and actiony, and that's that's Far Cry. That's that's, that's not, division. Yeah. That's not now, traditionally don't... Ghost Recon. Now, if this is the direction they're taking it, and it's successful, good for them. I want that simulate, and maybe it is. But I want that simulation-y style yeah. sniping. Well, shooter. and I had to, I, I found it funny because if you watch the trailer, which I don't know exactly, you know, how, but anyway, the gist of it was they were talking about like, be this, be this, be this, be a ghost, right? You yeah. Know? And then they were talking about, you'll need to know when to go loud. Yeah. Be a ghost. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. what? It was kind of, it was really, it was, it wasn't. And maybe you they're know, working in there and they're just highlighting and, these and I'll admit, crazy in, scenes. In, in Ghost so, Recon, there was times when you had to go loud, if firefight. you will. Yeah. But it was but incredibly it was, difficult. Yeah. And you really wanted to avoid that. Yeah. You know. So this is kind of my beef with Karate Kid. And I'm going <laughs> to. Okay. Whoa. I know. We're, it's going to sound like it's going to sound way wrong. The the, re -ana the, the new the Karate Kid this with is Jackie the Chan. The analysis, the comparison here. You're he making learned, an analogy. Yeah. So I go in to watch Karate Kid, and I I've done a little bit of MMA. You know, I trained Kempo sure. and stuff like that. Um, I go in thinking karate, it's kung fu, <laughs> but they're calling it Karate Kid. Still a great movie. You know, if you like that, it's it's still decent of a movie. But they're calling it something that it not, isn't it. Yeah. That's your beef with this game. It's probably fun. It's well, probably, no, it looks fun, and yeah. I I will. But probably they're calling get it. it Ghost Recon, and that is. Wrong to you guys. Yes. That's the gist of this. See how I brought that back? I I do. I do. Yeah. See, well, and see, when, I did it. I did it. I brought good. in I brought in another movie. Very good. Thank you. And and maybe I mean <laughs> You're just when squinting they, your eyes. I, I I would say Karate Kid is a poor example. No. It's it's called Karate Kid, no. but the kid that goes to China learns kung fu, and I'm not talking about the '80s movie where it's like Cobra Kai. Oh, yeah, you're talking about the, the you're talking about the new I'm, one, the new oh, one with okay, Jackie okay, Chan. Okay. See, the the one with Cobra. That's fine. That's karate, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Not not hack the leg, you know. Not that guy. No, the new one with Jackie Chan. He go the uh, Will Smith kid goes to China sure. and learns kung fu, and oh. they call the movie Karate Kid. Is this before he discovered Earth? <laughs> A thousand years later? <laughs> no, I never, I never no. watched that movie. I, I, I heard it was bad. Uh, I actually well, liked that movie. You did, and no, really we, did. we have weird tastes in movies. You I like, mean, I would never. You watch like it again, Twilight? Though. I like Gladiator. You know, it's just. <laughs> yeah. Okay, back to Ghost Recon. You just always throw that in my face, huh? <laughs> Gladiator so, is my favorite movie of all time. I know, but okay. Well, well let's let's not derail this. Let's What's your favorite movie of all time? Lion King sucks. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Uh, all right. Well, and if you remember, <laughs> all the way back when they first announced Ghost Recon, it was all option based, so you were able to sneak in quietly yeah. and get the bad guys. So yeah. I don't know if I don't know. It just I hope there's a lot of stealth in this game because yeah. that's what they were. So, yeah. but it, I mean, it it still looks fun. So. Uh, David, Farming Simulator 2017, yes. the official trailer was announced at Gamescom, uh, the or the official Gamescom trailer, uh, and it looked like Farming Simulator. Yeah, and s who is making this? Someone is Giant Software. Giant Software. Fun game. We should really get into this, because the Farming Simulator game that we have was super fun. It was. We just only played it once. Yeah. I like these types of games. <laughs> games they should I, bring back like a flight simulator. Yeah, to yeah, the console. I think that would be fun. Or train simulator. That looks fun. Any sim they they can make any simulator game fun. Yeah, they like they should do like Nike sweatshops simulator. <laughs> <you> know? <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I can't say anything now. You ended that. Uh, <laughs> 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 And I bet you in Europe it would be huge, <laughs> like Euro, Euro truck. Euro. Yeah, like the Euro, Euro truck simulator. Euro Nike sweatshop simulator. Yeah, 2017. Yeah. Anyway, we also got Mafia Three, their new heist trailer. <laughs> well, like, I'm trying to think how you could make that game because <laughs> there has to be a level up system. <laughs> oh yeah, it would be, and you could get more efficient. But it would be combinations. It'd be like X B Y A. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then you get so it'd be like get, Simon says, and yeah, you'd get you'd better, get, better. You get promoted up, you know, to now you're doing the shoelaces. Or, <laughs> or, you, or you could have one employee be like Goat Simulator, where you just run around and just <laughs> yeah. break just everything, destroy everything. Uh, oh, man. So Mafia Three's the heist trailer came out this week, and this game I'm really excited for. This is a very, it looks like Grand Theft Auto, but very dark toned. It does. Very this looks good. dark toned Mafia Three, and it looks really pretty. It looks fun. So. Speaking of Grand Theft Auto, I actually think this. I mean, I, I think you're correct in your analysis that this, the Mafia Three trailer looks like uh, a more serious Grand Theft Auto. Uh-huh. If that, I mean, Grand Theft Auto is serious, but it takes. Yeah. There's a lot of. Yeah, blood. Like, but, I mean, this is straight dark. But yeah. that reminded me of when I was watching the trailer, and this is going back of Watch Dogs. Mm-hmm. That too had a very Grand Theft Auto mm. feel and look to it, and you go around yeah. town and Grand Theft, more of a Grand Theft Auto online feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So, but anyway, this Mafia, I think, looks great. So Everyone's copying Grand Theft Auto now because it's had so much success, I think. Yeah. Because that is a fun, that's a, it's a great game model. It really is. So, uh, for all of those with 4K installed in their home, the like 4K. On the, so, you, because you're 11% better than no, me? No, but my TV doesn't have 4K. So Your monitor could. Like uh, that monitor no, does. my monitor only has 1080. So mm. I'm a caveman. You should bring it over here and leave it at my house. Yeah. Um, You're a caveman. Because <laughs> you have 1080. Yeah. yeah. Caveman uh, simulator. There you mm. go. That's, isn't that the Far, Far Cry? Cry? Yeah, okay. That's been so, done. So uh, Gears of War 4, 4K gameplay debut here at Gamescom. I believe it was, this was played on a PC, so not exactly... I have, I have a question and an honest question here. Do you see a difference? Because I was at Costco. Yeah, it was played on a PC. And right. they show 4K screens. I don't know if they're using... I would imagine their demo no, videos are 4K. I, I would not rely on their content to be 4K either. I, so I just... Can you can you visually tell? Like when I see a 4K thing, something streaming 4K, will I know that's 4K? I would say above 60 inches, yes. Okay. Below, probably not. Just it would I would I would notice in my mind I would notice HDR more yes because it would be like very vibrant yes mm-hmm. correct mm-hmm. yeah then I don't I really don't understand the move the push to 4K I know it's the future for instance when you go back to VHS VHS to DVD huge jump DVD to Blu-ray pretty huge like you so can, you're talking you're talking you 480 see the to 720 to 1080. Yeah, you can see the different the jumps between yeah. 720 and 1080 are a little harder, but the big jump from 480 to 720 yeah. was big. Yeah, and I just don't understand if I've not seen it yet. So I I want to know is it a big difference? Like when I when I start doing 4K things, and I go back to Blu-ray or back to DVD, will I even notice? Uh, I would a I would say difference? some people, and this is just my opinion. Some people are attuned a little bit more than others. Like, I deal with 4K footage, I deal with 1080 footage, I deal with 480 footage with what I do every day. I notice it, but I have friends that they can't, e- they can't even see the difference between 480 and 1080, and I don't know how that's even possible. They're blind. <laughs> they, they could care less, and yeah. they don't see a difference. Mm. So I think it's because of that, because of my limited experience with that person, I think it's a person-to-person thing. My, how I can tell the difference is the 60-inch TV... You can tell a difference, and and it's pretty substantial. The size is almost doubled yeah. in depth, yeah. or in in, mm-hmm. in in you know. Yeah, and so the re- well, I mean, that would make sense on a big TV because it's so big, so it's got to take up more space. I mean, need yeah, four K was it four K is twenty one sixty, right? I believe that's mm-hmm. the right number. So it, it's it's tw- ten eighty. Tw- it's almost doubled. Is that that's even yeah. So it's just under doubled. So. It's it's substantial, but you have to have the you have to have the eye for it for one, and you will notice a difference, like an eighty inch TV or a seventy inch TV. Yeah, that's what you'll notice. You'll it. notice a, a difference there for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. Anything under that, I would say it gets harder and harder to tell. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, cool. I mean, it's cool that it's coming to video yeah. games. And so that, I mean, the... they have a lot of options with Gears of War four and how you want to play it. So be sure to check that out. We also got Attack on Titan. The official trailer was released for it. Uh, this is the anime that's. I liked it. I mean, it was really gruesome, but I liked it. Yeah. And uh, anyway, uh, Attack on Titan should be releasing August thirtieth. If you're uh, if you're interested in that game, so that's just a couple weeks away, or a little under. Yeah, that's two fun. weeks. Yeah. So yeah. And then we have the Rise of Iron. 
Uh, this is more this is uh, Destiny, right? Yeah, Destiny, Destiny's Rise of Iron, the newest ex- expansion uh, DLC that they're coming out with. Um, this is it's it's kind of a trailer, but it's more of like a, a developer diary vid doc yeah. type of trailer. Um, but it's really interesting. It basically talks about you know where they're going with it, what they're doing with Rise of Iron, all the new features, um, Galahorn's back, you know all that all that stuff. So it looks uh, it looks pretty cool. I'm excited to so play it when well it comes with out. that. We actually I actually uh, we have a question that came in this week. Um, I don't see it. I guess I didn't write it down. The Never question, it was if someone p- asks a question and no one hears it, did they really ask a question, no, David? They no, they didn't. See? Um, anyways, the question, I'm, I apologize for whoever sent us this question, uh, but it was basically... So you did hear it, so I, the question exists. Oh, it was from uh, <laughs> 17 Barge Barriger. I Dang it, I'm so stupid. Anyways, he wanted to know, he's not played, yet, he's not played Destiny yet. Uh, they have the Destiny collection now and yes. the Iron, what is it? Iron Rise of Iron Rise of Iron yeah. coming should he jump into Destiny Well what I would do if I were him is on like you said on September 20th I believe the day Rise of Iron comes out he can buy the Destiny collection for $60 Okay so does he want to get Destiny or yeah. does he th- Okay yeah. that's what I would should do Should he or should he just jump into Rise of Iron What do you mean or I'm sorry. Wait for Destiny Two is his. Is his oh, wait thing. for Destiny yeah. Two. Oh, I would jump in now. You might as well because you never know if your character stuff is going to carry over to the next Destiny. Yeah. They haven't said it wasn't going. Yeah, to. it would they be nice you know to have I mean? it all in one package. You'd have the full complete experience. Yeah, you'd have expansion or DLC one and two, the Taken King expansion, and then Rise of Iron expansion, and I that comes out September twentieth. Oh, okay. On, cool. uh, on Xbox One, yeah. But I, I mean, Destiny's not a bad game. I think it's a fun game. Yeah. So. Agreed. But yeah, I, if I, if you're gonna buy it, I would wait till then to buy it, because then you can just get it all sure. at once. But uh, yeah, very cool. Um, also, Overwatch was in the news today. We have a new map coming soon. Etchwindale is the new map. This is a castle map. It is where Reinhardt and I forget his mentor's name made their last stand. I think it's Ike Eichenwald. Oh, why did I say Etchwindale? I don't know, because you're not German. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> where did that come from? Now I can see Eichenwald and I can see Etchwindel. Yeah. Which one? Well, well, I, I <laughs> yeah, got on to German when you, said who, when you said who it was. I was like, oh, German. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's that's this map. And another animated short was released, The Last Bastion, which kind of goes hand in hand with this map because yeah. um, I won't talk about it. I'll let you experience it for yourself because it's kind of a spoiler if you kind of explain what Bastion, we yeah. now know what he is. Well, we but there's a, a theory of what, you know, we know what he is because he's a robot, right? So yeah. he was a part of the robot race, but it uh, shows kind of what The cameo what is awesome in there. Yeah, of... Uh, you can't, the, no spoilers. I'm yeah. not going to say spoilers. Yeah. Of one of the people we talked yeah, about yeah, earlier very, in the yeah. show. Yeah, it was cool. That's it a great really cool. movie. Very, a very movie. cool movie. Yeah, they're really good at their animated shorts. Hopefully they do more, which, let's be honest, they probably will. But no release date on the new map, but it looks very cool. Um, what's cool about it is it takes place at a castle. That is absolutely fantastic yeah. news. And fun stuff. If you watch, so if you see the map or if you watch the trailer for the map... Uh, you see the castle, and then in the distance, you see a metropolis city, a very futuristic city, right? In the Bastion animated short, you not only see the castle in the distance, you but you see city? that same city in the distance as well. Very, cool. very interesting. So, hmm. But uh, pretty cool. Uh, be sure to check those out. That's from Blizzard and Overwatch. Coming, no release date on the map, but coming soon. Is it, I, have Bliz- I have Overwatch news, if, if that's all. Yeah. Okay, there's, so there's a patch coming out soon, potentially. Um, Overwatch just released their patch kind of guidelines, what they're thinking of doing. A huge nerf and um, buff stuff going down to a lot down the line. Um, the, do you want me to go through all them or just... Uh, I'll just I'll just do the, like, go the main it. thing. Go through, go th- go through them. Um, Summarize. Overview. The person that the, the hero is going to get hit the hardest is probably Genji. Okay. Um, they feel he was a little bit too... Uh, OP? Yeah, you could say yeah. that. Um they are the one. The biggest thing they're doing is they're re- taking two seconds off his ultimate, so it has an eight second. You know, when he pulls out his blade and goes and slices and dices and gets the kill, the the play of the game every time he does that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to six seconds instead of eight. Really? Yeah. Um, he no longer triple jumps, and what the, w- he oh, okay. could he could, so he has a double jump, but if he jumps on the wall, 
he can jump off again and get a triple jump. Oh, okay. So they're removing that. They're removing his ability to slice through traps, such as... Um, jump rat. Yes, they're removing... He will now get stuck on that. Um, the big thing also is his DPS is de- substantially dis- decreased because you could do a combo, which you would um, shoot your left trigger, which was your uh, three stars at the same time. You would also... Uh, melee, and then you would do the dash all at the same time, and all the animations cancel each other out, and you could do like 181 damage in less than a second. Wow. So they're now taking away the ability to cancel the animations. So now he's... So he has to go through them. He has to go through them. That hurts him a lot. Like, the, he may not be a playable character after this. Now, the, granted, this is in their PTR, so they're testing this, so... Well, basically, they're just going to make him more balanced with the rest of the characters. They're, I'm he, sure he's a playable character now, because he's... Because he's, he's very, yeah, he's very, you know yeah. I mean? I th- they're hitting him really hard. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. I think what they could have just done is just remove the two seconds on his ultimate, and then he would be a little, you know, six seconds. I, I like his mobility. I think his mobility's fine. Wait, they're lessening the seconds, right? They're taking it from eight to six, so he can ultimate more theoretically. No, oh, no, 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 In the ultimate. In okay, I'm ultimate thinking about the recharge, but that's not long. even a timer. Yeah. Timer. Okay, gotcha. And so they're, that, they're, they're doing yeah, okay, that, gotcha. then they're removing his damage potential, his DPS, by removing the canceling animations, and they're making him catchable. They're hitting him pretty hard. Mm-hmm. Um, other things they're doing um, with uh, Roadhog, for example, they're, you know when you hook somebody and they go behind a wall and then they slide real weird? Yeah. They're now making it so they the other person teleports to where he originally was and can still pull them back so in. So if he hooks you, you're coming in, basically. You're, you're yeah. coming in. So they're they're kind of giving him a middle, a semi, you know, moderate buff. Um, May is now her ultimate with the blizzard. Yeah. Uh, now goes through walls, and it's... Oh, wow, that's huge. It's way huge, yeah. and it's going from 8 meters to 10 meters, so they're increasing it as well. Oh, wow. that's cool. So, yeah, that's a good, so she's going to play yeah, completely that's, different. Yeah, that's a good... Well, you don't have to worry about throwing your thing anymore. I mean, really, especially on... Uh, I never Temple, worry about throwing my thing. Well, especially on Temple of Anub- Anubis, when people yeah. are stuck in that corner, you can just toss it down, it's going to go through right, that wall. It's going to yeah. go through the wall, So, and uh, it, it also uh, penetrates barriers as well, so like um, uh, Winston's barrier... And Reinhardt Shield. And Reinhardt Shield uh, penetrates that as well. That makes sense, though, because it's an AoE, right? Yeah, so. yeah. Um, Hanzo is getting a huge buff because his arrows are getting faster by oh, 30% nice. faster. So, you know, bing, 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 instead of bing, bing, bing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> that, that's, that's, how I, that's how I think of that. Um, also, his hitbox is inc- actually all projectile hitboxes are increased, which essentially helps Hanzo the most. Um, so yeah. now if you barely miss, it still well, hits Well, that him. helps Genji too then, right? It does help yeah. Genji, but um, his his Chinese stars or shurikens are... Pretty accurate. No, uh, they're less accurate because they take more time to hit. So those are not consistent So from the a only projectile hitboxes are being widened, if yeah. you will, in layman's terms, and, and, right? Yeah, and because of the way the arrows work, it, the, it essentially buffs Hanzo. So Winston's... No, his won't be, right? Because he's not... No, he doesn't have a projectile. Yeah. Um, so, Zenyatta, you know his Orb of Discord. You really like Zenyatta. Yeah. Zenyatta. Yeah, and I, aren't they, weren't they supposed to buff him a while ago? Because isn't he super He's been weak? buffed several times. Yeah, it, isn't he super he's weak every, for what he is? Right? He was. He's he's now... Well, current, current. I like his style because he's all about buffs and debuffs. I think that's yeah. a cool style. Um, he has now been... They're, they're nerfing him because... Oh, bummer. He's super... He's... Everybody picks him because he's... He's OP right now, mm-hmm. and Diva's OP, uh, I I think as well. Oh, are they changing her shield back to how it originally they're giving, was? Or? They're giving it a one second recool timer. So instead, of yeah, see, because you used to be able to just pump it as yeah. much as you wanted. Yeah. Okay. Um, so as Zenyatta, they are upping his damage from forty to forty six, which sounds like a buff, but they are decreasing the damage buff from fifty percent. So what on the orb of discord? If you throw it on an yeah, enemy, yeah, you if you throw that on an enemy, and they melt. Your whole team does fifty percent damage. Well, they're decreasing that to thirty percent damage. Okay, that's that's still. I mean, but see, that's not that bad though. I mean, twenty percent's I mean, a lot, but they upped his damage from forty to forty six, which makes him do the exact same damage. But your teammates don't melt him, the enemy as well. Yeah. So that's what they're they're uh, they're doing that a little bit as more. Lucio got a small nerf that doesn't matter. I think um, the amp it up for the speed instead of doubling the speed, they're doing seventy percent boost in speed. You know when you amp it up. And I you bet run. you. I wonder if that's because of like when you respawn with him and a team, you can get to the spot really. Yeah. Ca- they're probably so you can make. So basically, if you kill him, it's more. I it, don't know how to explain no, it. No. Yeah. It's, it's more it's, of a 
basically, as it stands right now, he was a, you had to pick him. Yeah. There are people you had to pick. You had to pick Diva. You, ha- you had to pick Lucio. Um, and, uh, oh, there's another one. I can't remember right now. But they're trying to make Mercy a little bit more... Well, if you think about it, the only people I really see as supports are Mercy and Lucio. Given I haven't really played that much since Anna has launched, so I don't know how much people Anna, have been playing Anna, Anna but you yeah. really only see those two, because I never saw Zenyatta. So Mercy's getting a buff. Yeah, speaking of Mercy, she's getting a buff now. Um, her healing per second is increased by 20%. That's nice. David plays Mercy. Yeah, yeah. so your, your character's getting a buff. They want Not a lot of people are playing her because Lucio is so strong. Yeah. And Anna actually had potentially more HP per second with her shots to her little gun. Yeah, you know, than the staff. Than, than the staff itself. So mm-hmm. they're increasing that. And um, they're also, you know, the resurrect. They're making that um, when you resurrect your team, they can now move around sooner than just standing there. So for a that's, bit. that's really nice. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a whole bunch of changes. That they're, they're, they're like going crazy with the uh, buffs and debuffs and. I guess nerfs, buffs and nerfs on this uh, patch. But um, it's in the PTR phase. That's what they're looking at doing, and they're testing it right now. So it, it What's, That's nice about Blizzard is they put everything in the PTR, and th- this isn't final because they may still make adjustments yeah, from, I, you know what I mean? I'll they bet you really they're not going to hit Genji as hard as they are. Because we'll, we'll see how it works. With all these yeah. Genji hits, I mean, you're going to make no one pick him. Yeah. He's gonna get he's gonna get hit very hard with all that. So yeah. um, th- they're testing it. Anyways, I thought I'd I thought I'd uh, let you know that it well. Um, but yeah. Well, that's great news. Maybe bad news depending on who you play. Who you like to play? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, I like the balancing act in those games is a necessity and hard. Big news if you're an NHL fan. NHL uh, 17 is for the first time, including World Cup of Hockey. Yep. This is going to be exciting, everyone. Uh, we had our first NHL tournament this last year. Guess what we're going to do now? Now that you can represent your country, we're going to do a country NHL tournament. And hey, that's pretty cool. The World Cup of NHL, yeah. the X1 Bros World Cup. What we should do is... Uh, do teams. So we have a U.S. team rep repping it. <laughs> when we have a like a Canadian team, a European team, uh, you know, see who who wins. But we will we will definitely do a World Cup version of NHL 17. That's since awesome. That's yeah, yeah, that'll be really cool. So be sure to pick that up. Um, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare talked about their zombie mode. Um, it's called Zombie Land. Zombies in space. Basically, it's um, <laughs> zombies in space. Yeah, think <laughs> of an eighties. It looks very. It looks very eighties. Yeah, think Back to the so. The trailer is actually it, pretty. It, the trailer is actually pretty cool. So think of like an eighties arcade with everything from the future. If that makes sense. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It does. Yeah, and that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks pretty cool. It, like you play as like uh, one of four of these different characters, and it just it looks like a good time. But really, zombies has always been a good time. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. a new trailer for Steep, which David likes this game, and I will admit this trailer uh, looked pretty cool. Oh, well, just so yeah, it, just kind of showed it off didn't all the show action stuff. Anything new from the E three trailer? For those of you that don't remember, Steep is the trailer that is extreme sports in an open world, and you challenge your friends, you take cool videos uh it just kind of re-emphasized what that game is about and again watching this trailer from gamescon yeah you I, like to perform. i want i want this game yeah. yeah yeah so it looks the new trailer does make it look pretty the cool. squirrel suits is what sells me in that yeah. game. and you can wear a goat head while snowboarding you so. can <laughs> i would i mean i would hope yeah, so i know i would hope they would include uh, that in the game titanfall 2 is aiming for 60 frames per second and the resolution has not yet been decided so uh no one knows but for final release, I don't know if the beta is in... I don't think it is, because I was playing it today, and I don't think it's in 60 frames per second. It, it be, doesn't feel like it? It yeah. doesn't feel like it, but I might just be a frame snob now, so who knows, <laughs> right? You know, 60 is not good enough for me anymore. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, the for launch, they are aiming for 60 frames per second, and they haven't said anything about the resolution, So, but, you know, there you go. Uh, Microsoft bought another company. Yes, they did. So, of course they yeah. did. From they a, uh, from a teenager. Yeah, from a teenager. Yeah, I don't know how much for, and I don't know all the details. But Microsoft acquires an interactive gaming live streaming company called Beam. Now, I've never heard of them before. Really, the only streaming sites I've heard of is Twitch and YouTube, because that's really all I uh, go then to. There's like Hotbox, you know, out there or Hitbox. Yeah, I mean, I know there's a few off-site ones, but I went to Beam, 
and I know I'm streaming on Twitch right now, but I'm going to say it. Their interface is very it good. Is, it is Yeah, superb. like it's smooth and it's nice. Uh, so. And their big claim, so what sets Beam apart, number one is they really focus on having interactions during the games. And as a, and so to, it, to do that... Like for... for the, oh, yeah. Sorry. That to part. do that, their big selling point is little to no late, latency. So Point it's, two seconds. Yeah. For, so, they call it their FTL. Uh, server, yeah, which, which is, is hilarious. <laughs> that's awesome because yeah. faster than light. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty Point sweet. Seconds. So basically, instantaneous, true live. So if, if mm -hmm. for for those of you that don't know about video streaming or about Twitch, Twitch is delayed by what thirty seconds, mixed by C. Yeah, it depends. It could be as low. Some some people get preferential treatment. Some sure. of their partners do. Um, it can be, and those people have at least a ten second, eight to ten. Um, but for us normal folk, it, it can be fifteen to. 30 sometimes yeah. Yeah. It, it just depends yeah, yeah. and on, it's not instantaneous on so. beam it's not for like you said twitch gets better times for their preferred this is for everybody that wants to do beam like it's just yeah. it's their technology right yeah there's and they have two yet they have the traditional servers um which there which is still actually pretty fast for them they they claim it's two to five second delay mm -hmm. and that's just that's just simple. Um, I was looking at all this stuff when I went to their site. Uh, yeah. What do you think of the site? Like just their homepage looking for a game. What'd they do a lot of things right. Yeah, I, I really like I As soon as I went there, I went like, I was like, oh, it's purple. That was my first thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, not that that's bad. I just said, oh, it's purple. And then I went down to the games and how it comes up. It just, it felt super smooth. I really liked it. I thought it was, yeah. a, and I've never heard of these guys before. I mean, it was, it was a cool little site. They have really cool features like... Um, I, I really enjoy how they have up at the top. I immediately noticed you have your main streamers, which this this site is in its infancy. There's not a lot of viewers here, and uh, you yeah, know, I think when I was there, the highest one was 300, and I actually jumped in it because they were all playing uh, Pokemon Yellow. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah, and you can because of the interactivity, so, you can do the yeah. So I jumped in and played. So, so with place. their FTL service that they have, um, I played the uh, Legends of Zelda: mm. A Link to the Past, which of course I'm bias now because they were playing that i was instantaneously controlling that game i'm not kidding really? with the controls it was me i was moving it left i was moving did it you right. notice the two seconds or did it no feel... it was it was right wow. it was how many other people were playing with you though um there was 200 people in there um but you felt yourself controlling it I've, i wonder if anybody they were just taking i don't know how it worked but i was i was I mean, we were in the early stages of the game. I had just gotten the sword. The rain was down, you know, mm -hmm. there. So you, if you know where the game, you know where I am. The bad guys, the NPC bad guys uh, were attacking me. I was able to dodge and hit my sword. I was playing that game through the stream, yeah. which could not happen on any other service right now. So that's their claim to fame. And it works. Yeah. I've yeah. tested it. That's it cool. works. Um, other things I really liked is they have a, uh, up at the top, I immediately noticed... Our popular streamers are new to streaming. There was a feature oh, called new to cool. streaming, and I went in there and saw a couple people, which really helps the little guy that hasn't been around for a while, which Twitch, they struggle with that. They try with that, but they, they haven't uh, really... They It's oh, hard for... They, new streamers cannot get places at Twitch. Yeah. It's no, just, you've got to quit your job. Stream all day, 24 hours a day. For a good year before yeah. you see any hint of success. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this, that right immediately right there shows that they are, con it's like this kid, this 18-year-old kid that Microsoft purchased this from. Sure. Went, what are the good parts of Twitch? What are the bad parts of Twitch? All right, let's make a superior, that, that's, it looks like that was their aim. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm, I'm impressed by it. The, the problem that they have what I see is Twitch is king when it comes to video yeah, you've gaming. You've got to knock off yeah. the king. And, and there is no audience. And, and it's in its infancy. Micro just, Microsoft just bought it. I didn't even know about this service yeah, until, did I, until Microsoft, Microsoft purchased it. it. So maybe this is the jump that Beam needs. Yeah. And maybe Microsoft saw this and s saw the potential because well, it's you, very good. I bet you Microsoft acquired because Major Nelson, he interviews the guy and he says they have a technology where it's the two seconds, FTL. right? FTL. It's yeah. not two seconds. It's 0 .02. And oh, they use HTML5 oh, to okay. do that. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, they have that. Te he kept referring to it as their technology. So I don't know if they copyright or did whatever, which they probably did. But yeah. I guarantee you that's why Microsoft acquired them. Because yeah. that's... Point two, point 0.2. Not point zero, point 0.2. Point 0.2, yeah. Yeah. Po which is really... That's 200 milliseconds if you're gaming, which yeah. is... It's not ideal for, you know, any first-person shooter. But... But that is how fast yeah. that time is going. Because I, I mean, that's a huge technology if you think about it. Yeah, like it's 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 awesome. Um, it's hard to stream that way. Um, 
they, they so if you want to be able to stream that instantaneous you have to uh go through their tutorial and stuff like that i won't get into that but um one of the things i really liked is their it costs money well they have their beam has their own in browser currency and it's not real money. It's like an in-game currency mm -hmm. that you gain just by watching people. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And you, that's how you can interact with the with the streamer. So it costs money to do things with them. Mm -hmm. So you, it's it's fake. It's you can't buy this. It's fake. No microtransactions. It's not microtransactions. Yeah. But you can, you, you could like it costs me. They've basically to, made streaming a, or watching a stream a game in itself. Yeah, right? by watching, I earn XP, and that gives me mm -hmm. currency to to yell a phrase at this guy that's streaming right now, yeah. or to do something in the game, or to do that like that. It's it's actually uh, and and that feature is not available with AdBlock on. So you turn AdBlock off, and that was one of the big things that hurt Twitch was AdBlock cuts off their ad, ad revenue. There's, yeah. Um, they incentivized a way for people to turn AdBlock off to yeah. support the streams, to support all that stuff, the streamers, all that stuff, by adding this in-game currency that you can influence the streamer and you can do things in-game that they're playing, you know, potentially, yeah. all that stuff. It's actually, I was using it. It's very fun. Yeah. And what is it, for every hour or for every, there's a time on it. Yeah, it's every five minutes you get like three, three XP uh, or basically three, three coins, currency. Yeah. And 25 currency it's does almost, you can yell you're stupid to this guy <laughs> or something like that it's almost like an rpg system in a streaming service for watchers for viewers yeah yeah, yeah. and it, it incentivizes it makes that that jump to making money from streaming from just streaming it incentivizes people to turn off their ad block so these people can make money and beam can make money which Twitch is one of their biggest issues is everyone runs ad block, so no no ads are ran. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's actually, it's like I said, they went through things that were right with Twitch, things that were wrong with Twitch, and they tried to make their version of a perfect streaming system. And I, I, I'm going to dive into it more. I've created my so, account. So McSpicy is our tech... X One Bros tech engineer, basically. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. uh, will we will we have a presence on Beam as a podcast? As we should. Community. We should. Um, we'll probably. We're on Facebook. We're streaming on Facebook right now. We're streaming on Twitch. We should be there. Um, right now, there's not a lot of people. There's probably a thousand. I think the highest stream I saw when I was on was that Pokemon one yeah. when everybody was playing, and it was probably about 500. Yeah, and when I was the so. biggest one was 200 people. And when you're dealing with Twitch, you have 70,000 people yeah. watching mm -hmm. some guy playing League of Legends. You know what yeah. I mean? So. Yeah. That that's there, and that's just one person. That's how big Twitch's audience is. The biggest hurdle that Beam is going to have is an audience. Yeah. yeah, but Microsoft brings a lot of validity. Yeah, you, they can build it into Windows 10. They can, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they have money. Let's be. <laughs> they yeah uh, they <laughs> an endless <laughs> lot of money. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on. Oh, I sorry, I should have mentioned this with uh, the Call of Duty. But Call of Duty Infinite Warfare devs developers want to start up a new sub series, much like Black Ops Modern Warfare. So basically, so we're gonna get another Call of Duty yeah version. Maybe Infinite Warfare two in three years. Oh, you know, okay. this will be kind of their another because their, if you think about it, since Call of Duty four Modern Warfare, there has not been a numbered Call of Duty. They've all been sub series if you will right yeah. um uh world at war didn't have any continuations ghost didn't have any continuations i believe i don't know if advanced warfare will we will find out when it's their turn again but the only two sub series they really had was the modern warfare series and of course the black ops series right so they they want to start another series like that so we'll see if maybe infinite warfare is the one that starts Starts that going. series, yeah, going in. Anyway, cool little thing. Forza Horizon 3, the more I see this game, the more excited I get. They showed new footage um, at Gamescom. Very cool. This game looks good. This is going to be a fun game. Interesting fact about Forza Horizon 3 hmm. when I was watching this. The developers actually went out to the... Because there's different zones in Australia. There's like the Outback and all sure. this sort of different stuff, right? They actually went out to the Outback and set up a camera and filmed the sky. Yeah, I, I remember seeing yeah. that. Yeah, and they filmed it in an HDR camera, so this is yeah. the sky will be HDR, right, in, if you have the new Xbox One S or, or and a TV capable of doing that. But they filmed the sky and the cloud patterns and everything, and, how, and they basically took that and put it into the game. So there were, it kind of sounds silly, but it was cool. 
when they're talking about it, he goes, look at the sky. That is a real Australian sky that you're seeing. And it was clouds. Yeah. And it was, it was really, really cool. Yeah. It was, it was, it was pretty fun. So, and then we got another Gears of War four multiplayer map revealed. This one is called Lift. Same as the other ones. They just kind of go through it, show you it. It looks pretty cool. You're on a big elevator, mm -hmm. hence the name, the Lift. Um, and then, very bad news. Uh, Final Fantasy, well, bad on how you look at it. Final Fantasy fifteen has been delayed again. We had a. Release date September thirtieth, which would have been just a little over a month away. I thought they have now. I thought you'd like this. Keep going. Well, no, no, no. I I do like why. Okay. Uh, it's just a bummer because I was excited. You know, I had you know the day planned, but anyway, they <laughs> are <laughs> they are uh, pushing it back to November, so it's a two month delay. Basically, what the director Hajima Tabata said is, um, there was a huge day one patch that was going to come out with Final Fantasy. And he said, the more they thought about it, they talked about people that didn't have internet. They don't want them to not play the full version of the game. So what they're going to do is they're going to take one month to take that huge day one patch and put it on the disc. Oh, okay. Or the download or whatever. Yeah. So that's going to be ready for you when, when you play. And then they're going to take another month to just polish up the game because he says there is a few graphical bugs in the game and they want to really iron those out. So they're taking another month to polish that up and then they will release it. I think they gave a date. It was November. I'll try and find I think it was like November 20 something, but I'll, I'll find it for you. But yeah, another two months, which is a bummer, but you know, we got Kingsley. It's a bummer, but now you out. can spend time on other games that come out right then. Yeah, yeah, but still, I think October's. Yeah, I it's, think it's going to be hard. I think we've, I think seeing the evolution of how developers handle their game release has is fascinating because I think uh, there was a time where it looked bad or at least developers perhaps thought it looked bad if they didn't meet their release date, like, oh, mm -hmm. the game must suck or it's bad or something. And now developers just, it's just not ready where you want to make it better and nobody has a problem with it. Mm -hmm. No, gamers, gamers really don't. I think... I think when companies have or developers have pushed an early re that you could consider it the, the release date that they wanted to originally release it, I think it was the board of directors, the investors, the stockholders, all that, the them going, we need our money and we need our money now. You release this, yeah. And that's that was kind of the idea. Yeah. That that was the problem because they were the ones pushing that. Well, you get a game like Assassin's Creed. Uh, Unity. Yeah. Where you're falling through the map. Falling through the map, your face is melting, and they probably lost so much money. Now they now the developers are able to go, look, people in the boardroom. Yeah. We will lose money if you make us release it a month earlier. Yeah. yeah. I think I think they just now have some poll, they have some you know, some data to show if we release this too soon, we're gonna lose money. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's Well, there is um in this Final Fantasy story, there is a about fifty minutes of gameplay from the beginning to you know, fifty minutes in. And I watched it and it was really good. I'm really excited for it. But you did see a couple graphical errors. A lot of people called them N sixty four trees in the comments. Oh. But you know <laughs> in the distance, not like not like right next to you, but like yeah, in the distance. That's pretty right? cool, yeah. Um, it wasn't bad by any means, but I can see they want to just polish it up. There was, I did notice, and a lot of people mentioned this in the comment, there was a few voice acting hitches. Like, it just didn't sound... Like, the voice acting was good for the most part, but there was a few points where I was like, that probably sounded better in Japanese, or that probably <laughs> doesn't, you know, like, <laughs> maybe the trend. But anyway, two more months delay. Delay for good reasons. They just want to polish it up, get it really tight for release, and they want to avoid that huge day one patch, which is fine with me. I mean, it's a little bummer that we can't play it at the end of next month, but we'll still get it at the end of the year. The next part made up for everything because he came out, the director, came out and specifically said they are not doing a Final Fantasy 13 lightning-style trilogy. Thank goodness, because that was awful. Oh. Like, I... They had something... I don't know if they never had a girlfriend in their lives at that department and just really wanted to work with lightning, but they they were going at... No, I'm not even kidding. There was so much lightning. For it was ridiculous. They never had a girlfriend in their lives, so they just wanted lightning. No, okay, so let me let me explain this. Lightning is a character in Final Fantasy 13. Then there was Final Fantasy 13 Part 2, which also had lightning. And then there was another game, Return of Lightning. It was just... Her story for me was over. Like it was and it, too they, much. Light. They pushed it, yeah, and they just and that's why I they had something for her because they just kept going. And I just 
personally, I thought Final Fantasy 13 was good. I thought the story in 13-2 was blah, blah, blah. And then Lightning Returns was uh, as well. But anyway, what they said, and I appreciate this, um, what they said is the director came out and he said, quote, we want to use that technolo technological foundation that we've built up for Final F Fantasy 15 and move on to do something completely new. That's good. I don't want Final Fantasy 15 Part 2 and then Noctis Returns for the next 10 years of my life. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Given I don't know these characters, maybe I really like them, but just kill Gul'dan already. I know. Just stop using them. Their story is <laughs> over. But anyway, that was I was really frustrated because really Final Fantasy it, it never ended. November twenty ninth worldwide release. There you Final go. That's Fantasy it. Yeah, twenty ninth. Yeah. But anyway, I'm really happy with that because I think they've done a really good job with Final Fantasy Final Fantasy fifteen. And now if they can move on to like bigger hardware like the Xbox Scorpio or even you know improve the engine that they're they they're using for fifteen, I think that'd be great. Right. You don't yeah. have to make the mistake of Final Fantasy XIII and drag that on forever. <laughs> but that was just... Anyway, that's my opinion on that, and I really appreciate that they're not going to do that. Um, they will so have how do you really feel? No, I'm just kidding. No, that's... <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> uh, anyway, this got me really excited, and I started playing this game again this week. Uh, Lego Dimensions showed off their Harry Potter stuff, <laughs> and that was cool. Did it look good? <laughs> yeah, because you know what it looked like is, yeah. you know in uh, the Avengers games where you can do that free roam flying? Yeah. They put Voldemort on the pad, and they free roam flew, like across the entire Hogwarts Harry Potter. They went to, what's the village, Hogsmeade? Hogsmeade, They yes. went there and hung out for a while. They went up to the lake. I don't know oh, where yeah. that is. I like it. And That's right. It's near the castle. Yeah, yeah they went. They just went everywhere. It's where it was, Diggory dies. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's in there. It was really, it was okay. really cool. People don't know who Cedric is, but you know that's a. I, well, this game, this book is like ten years old. Okay, fine. <laughs> Cedric dies. <laughs> the, there's a there's a book series that's like one of the most popular book series of all time. Ten years old, and then there's, I know, I'm just trying to there's just... huge movies that are huge. It's like Harry Potter is like a part of. There's theme parks <laughs> built around Harry Potter, but it's like theme... giving away that Minnie is Mickey's girlfriend. I don't think. Uh... By the way, did you read the new Harry Potter hey, book? Hey, I spoiler! Am... I don't know that. By I'm the way, kidding. I am reading the new Harry Potter book. My wife, who is a big I... Harry Potter fan, says it is Sucked. awful. Really? She did not like it. Really. So it is a different style, uh, and so far I am really enjoying the style. She told me what it was about, and I have one main issue that I will talk to you afterwards. <laughs> okay, if you I have not yeah. finished it. Okay, yet. so never mind. Never I am about right. halfway <laughs> through. Okay, never mind. Are you going to spoil this one? <laughs> Cedric no, no. dies. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I thought it was really cool. I like Lego games. I really enjoy Lego Dimensions. Um, they're coming out with a Ghostbuster story mode. Not going to buy that. But, oh. <laughs> but they're also coming out with. Uh, <laughs> they're also coming out with. Uh, what's that new Harry Potter movie called? Uh, Magnificent Beasts and Where to Find Them. Yeah, yeah. something like yeah. that. Uh, they're something. coming out with a story mode of that. Magical That's going to be yeah, magical creatures. They're coming out with a story mode of that. That's going to be a little bit later after the Ghostbuster ones. But it's it's going to be fun. I just have a soft spot for Harry Potter, and who doesn't, right? Yeah. Mm. I mean, Cedric did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, it's this is not a spoiler, but a general. The new book really centers around Cedric. That's what Diggory. I want to talk to you about. Yeah. That's not a spoiler. I that that just gave me you know a direct line into that book that I didn't want to. The know new about. book has Darth Vader in it. It's like a trailer. <laughs> no, it's like a trailer for the book. I don't watch a lot of trailers because I don't want to be spoiled. Because have you seen trailers nowadays? They show you the whole movie. Not good ones. <laughs> not like good. Battlefield One, but there's no story there. <laughs> Anyway, that's the like. <coughs> excuse me, that's the Lego Dimensions games. Uh, Lego Dimension Year Two is what they're calling it, uh, which is uh, really cool. So, and if you're not into Lego Dimensions, they still do have their other games that are coming out. Most recently, the Star Wars one. So they got a little bit of both for you, which uh, I think is is cool. Um, this game, another cool story we got going on here. Earthlock Festival of Magic. If you haven't seen this trailer, go and watch it. It'll at least pique your interest. Um, this game has been full production for the past four years, and it's the, the first major title for Snowcastle Games, and it's going to come out next month, and on Xbox One, it's going to be the, one of the games with gold, so we're going to get it to try it for free, the full game, and this game does look great. I think it looks really cool. Be sure to check out the trailer, Earthlock Festival of Magic. Very cool looking game. Cool. We also got Assetto Corsa is now available for digital pre-order and download I, on the Xbox One. I don't know what that game is. Yep. 
Sl- Slime Rancher available for Xbox One, but it's in the Xbox Preview program, so that is a preview game. Uh, we also have Fuel One Twenty Sixteen now available for Xbox One. We got Farming Simulator, of uh, course, which we saw the trailer this week, but that's now available for digital pre-order and download on the Xbox One. And then, of course, we got Unarmed Fiasco, unnamed, unnamed Fiasco. This looks a lot like uh, the Luchador game. Yeah, <laughs> Luchador game. what was that game called? That is a blast. Guatemala. Guata- guacamole. 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 I actually yeah. played that uh, last yeah. week. Guac- this looks like guacamole. Yeah. Mark should pronounce this next game. Yeah. And just let him know that it's, it's available for Xbox One. By the Latino. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's now available for Xbox it's One. Latin dance, if you <laughs> want to know is. what that meant. Uh, we also have Binary is now available for digital pre order and download on the Xbox One. And a big one for a lot of people Bioshock Collection now available for digital preload and download. Or preload, that's the same thing. Pre order and download. <laughs> <laughs> tomato, tomato. <laughs> pre order and download. On uh, the Xbox One, so be sure to check that one. I think that's if you've never played the Bioshock series, that's a worth buy, yeah. especially for Infinite. Isn't Skyrim uh, available for pre-order and download? I believe or? it is. Didn't we mention that last week? Though we probably did. Never mind. I'll shut up. <laughs> Thank no, you. yeah, I, we Thank might, you, David. we might not right. have, but it is. So be sure to check that out. We also got Pez. Pro Evolution Soccer 2017, now available for pre-order and download on the Xbox One. We have Grow Up. This uh, has been on the PlayStation for a little while, but uh, it's now available for the Xbox One, so be sure to check that out. And then the final piece of the Just Cause DLC, Just Cause 3 DLC is now available. Be sure to check it out, because let's be honest, their DLCs have been pretty cool so far. Absolutely. So, uh, and then... Recore. Recore gameplay trailer yeah, I at Gamescom. I really game. like this game. And it's nice that it is uh, cheaper. $40. $40, yeah. yeah. So be sure to check that out. I think Recore is going to be a fun new IP, and I, I hope it's a lot of fun. Yeah. It comes out pretty soon. So uh, Ark is getting a, Ark Survival Evolved is getting a uh, update with new servers. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, I have to shop this one out. Organic Adventure in chat says, I watched the podcast trying to judge the temperature of the bottom of David's chair. I feel it runs hot. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually right next to the AC, too. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, it's yeah. tr- it does run hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All that hot air going through there, uh, we're breathing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. What up now? Is Our that survival it? evolved. Like getting new servers. Yeah, that's, I mean, it needs more. It always does. Yeah, why not? And then the last one, the big one, uh, Splinter Cell, maybe. Yes, uh, yes. No, it's pretty much been confirmed. I mean... Are we not in the th- rumor zone then? Is it, has it been really confirmed? It's still in the rumor zone, but it's... But it's on the edge. Everyone knows it's It's almost coming. taking that exit off it's, to the real world. Yeah. Ubisoft devel- developing a new Splinter Cell title. Yeah. The, so in the works. So I have I have two issues with I mean not two issues but I have two questions in my mind. Mm-hmm. Will it be another game. division expansion? Will it, yeah. Or are they going to Splinter Cell? Again? Are they going to stick with Splinter Cell, which is very much like Metal Gear Solid in its gameplay? Traditionally speaking, it's like uh, yeah, Ubisoft's yeah. version of Metal Gear yeah. Solid, yeah. Uh, much more Tom Clancy, realistic, less mm-hmm. Japanesey, but. <laughs> But very slow paced, <laughs> moving around in the box. Very <laughs> much about sneaking around. My concern is is that I mean, and and this is all conjecture because who knows? Ghost Recon could be the traditional Ghost Recon. Just from the trailers, it doesn't look like it to me. Yes. Okay. So hopefully, hopefully, Splinter Cell is a traditional Splinter Cell game, and then it'll be really good because that's just a great formula, and they've nailed it in the past. Yeah, hopefully, if they do a different style of game, they call it something else, right? They don't call it Karate Kid, they call it Kung Fu Kid. Correct Amundo, my friend. Correct Call it something else and you'll be fine. Questions this week. If you want to submit questions to us, just follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, go to the forums, shoot us a message on Xbox Live. All places we accept questions. Question Gavin Coop says, can Titanfall be the best shooter this year. Titanfall uh, was getting way rave reviews coming out of GamesCon there with people that have played it. It's going to have some steep competition. It's obviously coming out against a uh, major hyped Battlefield 1 and also Call of Duty that takes place in space, the king. Uh, can Titanfall... The king and queen. <laughs> yeah. Can Titanfall find a place for it in there and be the best shooter of the year? Thoughts, Jordan? Um, I think it. I think it can. I mean, I, I played one round today, and it, it is a lot of fun. They've made a lot of good improvements, but I, 
I'm just too into Battlefield. Okay. You know, I mean that for that trailer. I really enjoy the Battlefield series from Battlefield sure. 4, and it doesn't look like Battlefield 1's going to disappoint me, but I can't say that yet because I haven't played it. But, you know, that's my opinion on that. Spicy. Uh, out of the three monsters, you know, Call of Duty, Battlefield, and this, uh, Titanfall. Well, Titanfall's the baby. I mean, it's brand new. Yeah. Out of those three, for me personally, it would no question be better than either of those games. Really? really? But, be, and that's just personally, because I, the, the inherent problem I have with Battlefield and always have had with a Battlefield game is there's too many players. Sure. Mm-hmm. Nothing I mm-hmm. do affects the outcome of the game. Minus the first bad company. Yeah, correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and even two, a couple maps. Just too many players. Like, I can I can be the highest scoring person on the team, and we would get wiped. I could be the suckiest person on the team, and we would win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and it could be even in squads. It's that, you know, so I have a problem with that in Battlefield. Mm-hmm. Titanfall has less people, yeah. and I think it does a great job at that. So for me personally, that's just my opinion. I think, and, and I'm done with Call of Duty. I think I, I, I can't. You've, I, you've well, moved on. Titanfall I, is from the people that made your favorite Call of Duty. It's so true. Really you're just sticking, it's true. You're just sticking with them. Re- respawn. You know? Yeah, yeah I, it's true. So I feel Titanfall wins no question in my mind. However, the king is the king and has always been the king. Sure. And it hasn't been dethroned yet. And Battlefield is the queen. You know, it's they're right there. They're they're so strong. I don't think sales will reflect um, in my, you know, I don't think Titanfall will win the, the cell battle, if that's what you could call it. Yeah. I think it'll be a better game, but I think do that you the mobs... Think, okay, going, sp- going off of this question, do you think Battlefield 1 can dethrone the king this year? I think so. Yeah. I think so. They've, they're in line to do it. Their marketing strategy is unbelievable I think has, this I th- year. I think it has potential. I don't think in any other year has... Call of Duty been so disliked and Battlefield been so strong, like it's it has flipped yeah. a lot. So I I think it I think so it I I I will say this, Titanfall. What I see with the way they're implementing the social networks with that network in there and being able to play, um, if it's easy to jump in and out of matches with friends with the happy hour feature that's coming cool. where you set up as a network your group of friends your clan that you're playing with a, an hour a day you get double xp to that goes towards your clan and you as an individual and everybody can get that no matter what network you're a part of um stuff like that it, it could it, it, it'll definitely have a niche for itself could it be the best shooter of the year it could be a version of the best shooter as far as that's where everyone goes to play with their friends yeah and define best like that's where everyone sells? goes to play competitive matches with because it's so easy to team up yeah okay yeah so i think it could be the best social shooter of the i mean of, of the three because of the uh yeah the groups that they have the uh what you talked the, the about networks, the yeah. networks I'm, yeah i'm really digging that great question thanks gavin for sending that in shebrew uh submits a question this week uh, a serious question and he wants to know uh do i trade up and get xbox one with one s with madden and one terabout for 200 dollars out of pocket or get 500 gigabat Bytes and Halo for 150 out of pocket. Myself, uh, from what I've experienced from Madden so far, I'd pay the 200 and go one terabyte with the Xbox One S. It's a better system. You're yeah. getting a really good game, and uh, yeah, you're paying fifty dollars more, which is basically the difference in the game. Fifty dollars more and oh, a and five hundred gigs more ter- storage. A terabyte yeah. hard drive costs what, like eighty bucks yeah. on Amazon? Hundred bu- eighty to hundred bucks on Amazon? Yeah. Oh, maybe less. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what you would pay for that kind of hard drive space anyways. I, and I would think, uh, knowing Shebrew, knowing you, I know you, I know you like football. I know you like sports. I think that would reflect him a little bit better. Jordan, I agree. Two, what, what was your trade up out of pocket for the 1S? I don't know, like 100 and something. Oh, okay. Do you think it's worth it to get the 1 terabyte 1S with Madden, or would you go 500 gigs with Halo? For two hundred versus one fifty, I would go with more space. More space for fifty dollars. More, more space. Yeah, I, they're not doing the two terabyte anymore. That was just like the launch one. Sure. So I, I would agree with that. I think we're all in agreement. So yeah. Go for the one terabyte with Madden. Great question. Thanks for sending that in. Oh, well, because Halo will take up a hundred of that. Five hundred. You know. Yeah. <laughs> that's it's a big <laughs> game. It is a monster. Yeah. yeah. D mails wants to know D-mails. why do people hey. care about achievement scores. And I think this is a great question. Um, this past week, I, w- I actually had the opportunity to 
go on the Z to Z podcast. For mm-hmm. those of you that don't know what the Z to Z podcast is, uh, one there. Well, there's a link in the show notes, so go check it out. But it's they are gamers, Xbox One gaming podcast. Mm-hmm. That is focused on achievements. They are achievement hunters. It is a podcast for achievement hunters. Uh, they had me on because we have been getting into true achievement scores and achievements. And for me personally, uh, I I just like the trophy. It's a trophy. Mm-hmm. I like the trophy and the competition that comes with competing against you guys and seeing where I'm at with getting achievements. And in some cases, when I'm trying to accomplish a game, get 100% it, just going after and doing these things in a game that you wouldn't normally do, uh, knowing that you've done everything in the game that a developer has intended to you to do, I can walk away, feel content, and say, I've done it. I, 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 I think achievement hunting is awesome. Mm-hmm. Nick Spicy, what do you think? Um, I, me, personally, I, it makes me enjoy the games a lot more because I have goals, and um, it helps me... It, it, it's the sense of accomplishment. Like you said, it really feels like I am beating the game. And like, I, I constantly, when I play Overwatch and how Xbox has made it so quick now on the left side to see the achievements, sure. I see that, oh, I haven't gotten the McCree ultimate accompli- you know, achievement yet. Mm-hmm. I'll play as McCree for a while until I get it, which I got this week. You well, know? Co- well, congratulations. So, thank you. I, I, oh, I got go. the, it's high noon. <laughs> and killed four people. Actually, I killed five people. Oh. I killed their whole team. Oh, nice. But uh, yeah, I only, I only had to get four to get that achievement. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> um, anyways, so it, it made me stretch myself, made me go out of character. Uh, David Bowie loves it when you stretch yourself and go out of character because then you get your most creative, you know, just so you know. I, speaking of, you know, David Bowie. Um, but I, it makes me enjoy the game in different ways than I ever would have been able to if those achievements didn't exist. So it makes me enjoy a game I like more because of the, the achievements. Does that make sense? Yeah, completely mm-hmm. makes sense. Jordan, how about you? Um, I don't know. It's a little bit of both of yours. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do in a game and the trophy factor. And some achievements are really hard to get, so it's cool just to show off like, hey, I have the achievement. I got the hardest got achievement Such ever. and such, you know, in a it's game. It's true, but, yeah. Uh, and if anything... <laughs> you can directly <laughs> compete against... I can be... I am 15 points better than David. Yeah. <laughs> and it's really... If, yeah, yeah, that's something. If, yeah. if anything, if you complete all the achievements for a game, you've gotten your money's worth from that game because True. you've done everything possible in that game. Like, you do not need to go back. Like, yeah. it is done. Sense so. of accomplishment. Yeah, you, there you, you go. Can sign it right off. Um, I, I don't know. I just... I think it adds just... I don't know. The competitiveness of... Of gaming, right? Yeah. Like, hey, I got forty thousand achievement score. You know, well, haha. I, I like, well, I like what what Mister McSpicy said too. For me, it's uh, sometimes when you're not feeling like playing a game and you start to focus on achievements. And I've been focused on like, I'm gonna beat Jordan this month, or I gotta catch up to Mark. It gets you back into gaming, mm-hmm. and you start to explore games that you normally wouldn't explore. So, achievement hunting, great question, Darius Miller. Uh, a lot of people out there don't know about achievement hunting, don't know that websites like True Achievements exist or podcasts like Z to Z podcast uh, exist. It is it is a blast. So if you are an achievement hunter, um, their podcast drops every Wednesday. I was on it this week. So go uh, listen. Yeah. They yeah. analyzed us. Uh, <laughs> Freemhole is his, is his name, uh-huh. uh, the host. And Fre- <laughs> I'm the worst. I have the worst stats out of the three of us. <laughs> Except in one thing. I do have .01 harder achievements unlocked than you. I'm at like 1.39. Nick Spicy's at like 1.38. And Jordan's at like 1.19. So he has he, he goes after the easy ones. He goes <laughs> after the easy ones, and we just <laughs> dive into the games and get yeah. the hard stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so uh, achievement hunting, tons of fun. Uh, go check out that podcast. Was Let's that see. D-Mails that asked, asked the question? That is, yeah. yes. He's in chat right now. He told me one terabyte external hard drive is $50 to $60. He just Googled it. So... There you go. There you go. Right now, you can get a cheap hard drive for that. Going back to a question, go check me out on the Z to Z podcast this week. Great bunch of guys. Another great community, but their focus is on achievements. And they were giving me tips. There's achievements. You can get... I have a secret, and that's how I'm going to beat Jordan this this month. There are games that literally take 10 minutes that I was informed about that give you a 1,000 gamer score. I know. I I actually don't play those. I will be. (laughs) So that I can put Jordan out of, I'm gonna dethrone him. Jordan is the Call of Duty of our group. McSpicy is, prob- is probably the Battlefield One, 
<laughs> Wait, what? I'm a poop shovel? What does that mean? And I'm the baby at, Titanfall. at Titanfall. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah. I'll be the poop shovel. Yeah, I, I'd be honored to be the poop shovel. <laughs> Who wouldn't? My I favorite mean. comment about that whole thing, though, is when someone in the comments after that trailer put, it, can't wait to customize my shovel. <laughs> I really hope that's a feature. <laughs> that would be It would, would be cool be awesome. if it wasn't a feature. <laughs> and seen, then they just added it. But in they made it a feature because of that. <laughs> they have yeah. a spiked club, so it is like you can upgrade it uh, so it has spikes. Like put your own skins on yeah. it. You know, you're <laughs> <laughs> A golden poop shovel. <laughs> Last question uh, comes from An- Andres Vallina. He's clearly from Sp- España or somewhere like that. <laughs> <laughs> Andres writes in and wants to know, there are going to be so many games coming out from September to December, like Gears 3, Madden NBA, 2K17, Forza, Skyrim, Bioshock, etc. Which games do you recommend getting on release and which ones will you be getting during the holiday sales? Uh, for instance, usually Target has buy two, get one deals. Best Buy has buy three games, get one low price. Amazon has sales, etc. So with all the games coming out between now and Christmas, which ones are we buying on release and which one is sell worthy? What was the list? That was a lot. Uh, was, that was a big question. I mean, there's more than that's even on this list. Gears, yeah. Madden, NBA, Forza, the- Skyrim, Bioshock, Call of Duty, uh, Bioshock. Battlefield 1, Titanfall. The two games I'm buying. Two games. We're limited right, to two. No, 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 no. I'm just saying oh. the two that I'm buying on release. On release is Final Fantasy 15 mm. and Battlefield One. Okay. So Gears, those are the two for sure. Gears I'm is buying. not on your list. Is that a is well? That a I, I I I will, but they all come out at the same time, so I uh, might have to wait. And okay. I want those two more okay. than you know. Makes but spicy. I'll probably end up Makes getting spicy. Them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be an odd oddball to, okay. oddball sure. here. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna go Mafia Three. Ooh, see, oh, that's a good one. that is good. That that could be the sleeper, the sleeper game right it's there. It's that. It's good. Yeah, you Those really like the are, other mafias. Yeah, it's good. It's very. It's a very good game. So it's kind of like, it is. It's Grand Theft Auto plus the Gangsters. Dark Knight. I don't know. Plus <laughs> the Dark. The Dark Knight. <laughs> you're not. You're not Bruce Wayne in this one. No, I, I don't mean, know what like trailers you've been dark, watching. Yeah, dark it's very dark. Stuff, yeah, but it's gangsters, and it's just a cool time period, and it's just right after World War II, the forties. Yeah. Right? So, Recore. There's another one that's coming. Yeah, out. that one's forty though, so you might. That's on the list by default, right? So save twenty yeah. bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> by, by default, when they put a forty dollar price tag, I am it. for sure getting Madden. I've actually already purchased Madden. Yep. Yeah, you're gonna. You can play it right now, right? Yep. Yeah, I already played it. Uh, oh, yeah, I already played it a little bit. Already. Going to be mm-hmm. going for Super Bowl tickets. Remember? Oh, that, that's <laughs> yeah. right. And I'm going to take that and take. I'm going to win that and not take you, but take your dad. <laughs> I am. That's my goal. I will break a window in your house <laughs> <laughs> while you're gone. <laughs> uh, what was the game I discussed last night? What I'm going to get? Madden and I. I another Titanfall. One. Titanfall. Because of the networks. Get, yeah. I'm going to get Titanfall, yes. Yeah, I'll correct. probably get Titanfall too. The rest yeah. will be sales. At this point, this time of year with so many games, it's just. Playing, getting the games that you feel like playing, in my opinion, because I think so many of them are equally good. It's just what, yeah, it's that time. What do you feel like on upon release? Yeah. Mm Mhm. Yeah. Great questions. Thank you so much, everyone, for sending those questions in every week. Facebook, Twitter, on the forums, send us questions. Gives us something to talk about. That's enough, the both of you. And with that, it's time to move on to the last segment of the show, the segment where we talk about what we've been up to and what we've been playing. Let's start... Actually, let's start with me, since I played Madden. And okay. It's, right. it's come out, it's, it comes out next week officially. Uh, I played the first scene, so like uh, the last two Maddens, you have been... Oh, it's yeah, like, like a story at the beginning. The story this year is a little close to my heart. It is the L.A. Rams. This is the first year that they're in back in Los Angeles, baby. Uh, so you play the L.A. Rams in that cut scene at... The Los Angeles Coliseum. Oh, that's cool. Back at oh, their yes. old stadium, huh? Oh, yes. So the nostalgia is awesome. Uh, then I then you go in, and I went straight to the training field to, to learn the new features. Uh, like I said, I'll be spending a lot of time on that training field. I'm taking my game to the next level, baby. Mm-hmm. The next level. The tournament level. That's right. Don't they do a uh, Vegas tournament every year? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we should go. That would be The awesome. Madden Bowl, right? I- yeah, I would love to do that. Yeah. I would go. I would go. That would be cool. You, oh. you have to be good, though. I'm right. not going if you well, suck. I don't know if I can be that good. <laughs> but I, I, I will be practicing, so I'll be in training mode a lot. You don't, you know, just if, have, you you don't know if you're going to be that good. That's no attitude. You have to stay in skills trainer. You've got to be a contender, okay? Yeah. you got to win. You have to play a lot in skills train in skills trainer, in, and then it, it translates to the field. Yeah. Practice. Practice? <laughs> We're talking about practice, <laughs> man. 
<laughs> uh, things I like. Uh, graphics, amazing. Definitely Im- improvement on the graphics. Uh, the Ignite engine. I atmosphere is use. amazing. The running game blows yeah. my mind at cool. this point. The way the players run, the physics, when you get hit, it feels like a hit. Uh, they have They have controls now while you're running so you can like break through tackles better it gives you more control like if there's a sloppy tackle and you can press a to break through it real quick um when you get the ball handed off to you now there is a direction arrow that that shows up where your joystick is facing for uh a second maybe just less than a second that helps so much to hit the holes yeah um, I like that they're doing this. This makes it seem more like a skill-based game than a random stat generator. It has been a it has been a skill so it has been a skill-based game. Did I, for did I like, trigger you? Yes, for like the last <laughs> five years, where the randomness comes in is just like in a, a perfectly thrown ball to someone. Sometimes is not caught. I hate that. That pisses me yeah. off. I will throw my controller at the wall. Uh, that is just the reality of sports. That's what makes sports so dramatic. That's what makes sports so now amazing. Now you triggered me. Yeah. <laughs> when you pa- when you in, in soccer pass me a ball and I go to shoot it to a wide open net, sometimes I will goof that. Perfectly placed. But see, here's the difference. I'm playing both characters no, in uh, the game. Well, no, you're technically you're not. You play both characters once that player catches the ball. Uh, you can control. You do have more control so before who, they catch the ball. Now, in, in when you do an aggressive catch or a possession catch, but you are primarily the quarterback. Once that ball is handed off, then you're the running back. But while that ball is in the air, you are you pray not. to RNG because uh, that is that is a random number generator. You either catch it or you fumble it well, or drop it. No, no, no. Because you're yeah, but that's how real life is. You're though. throwing. Yeah, it. but that's not how video okay. games should be. I get. I play video games so that doesn't happen. That I can control it. Okay. So first of all, uh, very but rarely it's a simulation based very, off of real life. Yeah, but very <laughs> rarely is a wide receiver wide open in in the NFL. Anyways, so you're always trying to get through like a split second window when he's open, uh, stuff like that. When he is wide open, ninety nine point nine percent of the time, you're you've got a touchdown. I mean, there's no questions about that. Now, it's not only just you, the player catching the ball. Sometimes you overthrow the ball. That happens in real life all the time. Mm-hmm. So that might piss you off, but that's what makes it realistic. Your real anger is with imperfect humans <laughs> in sports. But that's, that's not that's, you're that's projecting the, your that's anger over of, there. You're, I'm right here playing this yeah, game. Here. <laughs> But then it would be an arcade game. If you want that, then you should play. I play uh, NBA Jam. Then you should play Blood Bowl. Yeah, Blood Bowl. It's yeah, Blood the Bowl. Monster or football Bowl. game. Yeah, huh. yeah. Okay. I mean that's a game for you. Uh, anyways, fantastic game. Really like it. I've not dove into it so much. Uh, Shibru, who actually was really down on this game and said, "I'm probably not going to be purchasing it." We talked a few months ago. Uh, he's been playing it, and in chat, right? He's all. He he says it's one of the best games. He thinks it's the best game probably in the last five years. Hey, that's not Shibru in chat. That's Shibru, what, 4626? Four, four, six, six. Six, he six, was yeah. banned earlier, <laughs> or he was timed out, so he came on another <laughs> account. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I, I, and, and the, the pr- projection that I see from what I've played so far, I, I can definitely see that being the case. Next week, as I have more time to dive into it, I will, I will give further impressions after mm-hmm. I win my Super Bowl tickets. <laughs> okay. uh, so I played that. I also played Battleborn. I really like Battleborn. My one complaint, the scoring system is horrible. Uh, that that frustrated me at first, but now I've just accepted it and I just have fun playing. Really good game. If you like the MOBA style uh, play, that is a game for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I played Batman. Really liking the Telltale's Batman. Mixed Spice, oh, you yeah. would love this game. I'm telling you. It is you fantastic. Have it? I don't think I do. Oh. Five bucks. It is so good. <laughs> That's a, uh, a telltale game. Uh, Five dollars. <laughs> so I could I could be getting a win th- a, a sandwich. I'm seventy five percent through episode one. The re- everyone's like, Oh, you take so long to play that game. The reason is my wife will not let me play that game unless she's there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Okay. Okay, Jordan, what'd you play? Um I played Battleborn, which I still enjoy in that. I think that's a fun game. Uh I then played what did I play? I played a lot of Batman Arkham Knight. Yeah, you're liking that. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to go for 100% of that game. So oh! I'm, I'm almost there, but it's just getting to that point where it's like, oh, I have like three more things to do. That's admirable. And 100%. you're just like, you don't want to do it. 
because mm-hmm. you're just at that point, like, yeah. like oh, it becomes but, tedious. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but no, that game's really fun. I think they do a good job. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then I played The Crew because of the Fast and Furious movie that I watched. Mm. And The Crew's really fun, too. The story is... It intrigued me when, really? I, when, I, when I was playing that. I, I It's interesting. <laughs> oh, really? I, <laughs> I, know, I, know, I, I Jordan clearly disagrees, <laughs> Mark. I only played like the first no, 30 okay. minutes of the... No, no, no. Well, that's where I'm at, too. Yeah. But they, from my perspective, this is where I'm coming from. So I played... Oh, that intrigued me. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Does it suck? This no, was like a not, year ago. It's not like... I don't from know. From what I remember, <laughs> I wanted to find out what happens. That's all I remember. Uh, well, I'm thinking like interesting. <laughs> well, it just it, it, it it's not bad. It just I did not expect it to be what it was. Yeah. Like, so maybe the answers that you got weren't what. Weren't no, what? like so stuff not, happens, right? And okay. And in any I'm, story, stuff happens. Yeah. Well, and it's a car game, so I'm like, it's, it's, why is there's a story in a car game, right? It's. <laughs> I'm thinking like Midnight Club, where it's like, hey. Race to be king of the streets. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 I'm you, gonna yeah. Illegal racing. Cool, this is awesome. Cool tires. Right? Yeah, right. And then, uh, and then this game is is race to be king as well, but for a whole different set of reasons that were a little heavy for me for a racing. I was like, whoa, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got gotcha. you. So, <laughs> so a little was, too much. Yeah, what a like, race. Did it? Yeah. And okay. No offense. Like I, I really don't mean this in a bad way, but if. In a racing game, can you at least pick like a cool looking driver? <laughs> <laughs> the driver like, is irrelevant though. Well, no, I know, game. I know he's one hundred percent. You are the driver. I know, and I, I totally understand that and I get that, but <laughs> our driver is very mean. But this driver is like a main character in the story and he's in the cutscenes and he just I can't take him seriously as a driver. Like he looks like a programmer. <laughs> He not, does, doesn't he? Like, hey, I've seen some pretty cool programmers. No, no, I have to. Like, I'm not trying to stereotype him into anything. I've seen anything. programmers with like mohawks he's, he's and 100, bullet bikes. He's 100 percent hipster based <laughs> off of his like style. Like, he's got the the glasses, the beard, the cool, you know, everything like, that. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. like. No, 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 not like. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't everything know how to. Everything that McSpicy currently has. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. You know what? You've Wait, seen what? him. Here, let me pull up a picture of him. <laughs> Like you'll see him. You'll. I hate this guy. He looks just like you. <laughs> no, no, you will see exactly he's got what a I beard. mean. No, he has like he's the got, hipster beard. He's wearing a banana shirt. <laughs> no, no, he's got the hipster beard. Trendy pop culture reference T-shirt. <laughs> and I'm not the only one that thinks this. <laughs> that white hat he wears is just stupid. From some obscure paving company. I got this at like a, That's I, him I right found there. this hat somewhere. That is the street hat. racing king you're oh, trying I, to play. Oh, yeah, you know, what he's yeah. <laughs> I like that you, when I see him on the street, I don't think, oh, that guy must be a street racer. <laughs> I, I like that you just pulled it pulled it up on your yeah. computer. Oh, I just <laughs> no, he really just he's <laughs> I I can relate to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> when I like at least put in like a Vin Diesel character, you know what I mean? Some bald <laughs> jacked guy, you know, like that's a street racer. Yeah, that's funny. Yes, I'm going off of Final Fantasy or Final Fantasy, uh, Fast and the Furious, but hey, well, they didn't have a character like <laughs> no, me. That, that's the main protagonist did not look like that. Oh, no. anyway, he just I don't have a problem with him. I think he's a cool guy. He just I don't think he looks like a street racer. But anyway, <laughs> do you know what he looks like? He looks like an aged Gordon Freeman from Half Life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So imagine Gordon Freeman trying to be the king of street racing. It's, it doesn't. He's, and Gordon Freeman was a scientist. Yeah, it just know? doesn't. Anyway, and he's not. It's like an aged Gordon I Freeman just, too. I just, I don't, I just don't see him as a street racer. So and may, I, I'm not trying to stereotype. They're trying to target not, programmers. Yeah, apparently. I'm not trying to stereotype. <laughs> no, I know. I mean, like, I mean, I mean, I just <laughs> when you look at someone, you automatically think, oh, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. you automatically <laughs> you just judge them. You got to stereotypical. You got to judge them on, on the spot. <laughs> and that that he's not a he's a, <laughs> he's definitely not a street street. Racer. Hey, I like I like programming. I think programming's cool. That's what you're trying to do. Yeah, that's what life. I'm doing with my life. So, so I, it was I'm perfectly valid to say that. <laughs> You're allowed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I'm not saying he should look. I, just, I don't know. Just That's it's a funny. street racing game. I don't know. Like it just. I don't know. When I looked on the Ubisoft forums, a lot of people agreed with he doesn't look like a street racer. So 
Anyway, that's what I played. Oh, the crew is really fun. You guys should, uh, you should jump in and play. It was free, so I know we all have it. It's it's really fun. I, I and I need people to race with. So uh, okay. it would be fun to jump in, just play that quick tutorial, meet the hot chick who becomes <laughs> your boss, and we'll jump right into the. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. No, it's really fun. I like it. And then I did play one round of Titanfall two today. I yeah. I've only installed that. I oh, want to tell me tell me about Titanfall. So 2. I played the eight versus eight mode, which I don't think should be in there. Oh, really? Because because it was just pilots and it was really boring. Oh, okay. like. I, I, I understand like the idea like ju- it's just a basic team death match and it's it's only pilots but it was it was it was it's not the key of Titan is, fall yeah, is, is titans, titans right so playing it wasn't bad like it wasn't it wasn't bad it was cool using the grapple hook I switched over to that character or I used that character and it was it was all the the movement is really cool the guns feel good the sliding is awesome when you kneel down you like tilt your gun which is yeah. kind of a cool little thing you can slide for days which I think is pretty cool. Um, you can slide far, but it was it was really fun. But I I do think like when I buy the game, I will not spend most of my time in that mode. Because when I want to I want to play with Titan, you know the fun yeah. is like a pilot versus Titan. That's a awesome interaction, yeah. right? Whether you're the pilot or the Titan, that's just sure. a fun interaction. Pilot versus pilot, it's fun. Tell me, but it's not. You tell know me what I mean? about like, con- not, controls, movement, speed. It felt tight. It felt running. Good. Uh, the jumping feels better. I feel like I can like you know how Halo had that clamber ability where like sure. you jump jump and then you would kind of yeah. clamber on. It feels like he the pilots have a little bit of that. I I I'm trying to remember back to the first How's one. Wall running. Wall running's good. Is although it seamless, mm-hmm. like really. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, and fluid? I did I did unlock the perk to where I can aim and hang on the wall. I oh, love that oh, one. That's yeah. cool. So um, have I did. They removed there smart was gun. there was I didn't see it in the beta, but I'm not very far. I'm not even. I'm barely like almost level two. But there was when I shot the player. I hope not, David, for your sake. That ruins my entire gameplay yeah. style. <laughs> there <day>. um, <laughs> there was health bars above the enemy when you were shooting them. Now that doesn't bother me, but I want to know if they've added more health to the players. Okay. Because it felt like I was shooting them for a while. I don't you actually, know what I mean? I actually don't mind that. That makes the game a little bit more because you can cat get away. Mouse. Yeah, because you can get away, which I, it happened to me. My meter would go red, and then I'd get away, and I also unlocked a perk so I can regenerate faster, yeah. which is nice. So it wasn't bad, but I'm just curious if they did or not because it did feel like I was shooting them longer. Um, I got 14 kills in the first match, so 14 nice. deaths to go along with that. So I right there evened out, Nice, which yeah. I appreciate. One zeros even <laughs> one point zero kd positive <laughs> and that is positive yeah so uh no but it was a lot of fun uh it was a lot of fun i liked it the gra the hey the grappling is actually really cool because you don't just grapple and it pulls you in you grapple and it swings you up oh cool so that is cool that's a nice i'm sure change. you you can grapple but when i did it i grappled and i like ran and it like swung me. Oh, up, oh really? That's cool. Like yeah, that. you might be able to pull yourself. Any in. crazy mid-air kills like they advertised? Uh, uh, one guy was jumping and I shot him and killed him. Oh, but the usual. <laughs> that yeah. was technically mid-air, yeah, David. Like no, it. but it's fun. I'm actually planning on going home. I convinced my brother-in-law to download it on their Xbox mm-hmm. instead of his PlayStation. So Mac we can attack. Play. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm going to be playing that tonight, uh, which will be a lot of fun. So, but I'm, I'm going to jump into the Titan mode because the pilot mode was fun, but it's just... Dude, are you going to test out the network then? You're going to be in the network? Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. well, that's, in, it, that's yeah. in nine minutes. Yeah. We're, isn't it at 11 tonight? Mm, that was the network I started, but we're all jumping over to the, the real network that oh. Cheever started. So don't join that network. Okay, what time join. are we doing? Yeah, I think that happy hour is at like 7, so we won't be able to do that till tomorrow. Oh, but okay, gotcha. Like something. But yeah, don't join that network. But yeah. anyway, that's what I played. 72 members. Yeah, good. Right good, now. good. Oh, good. nice. We got uh, a couple up, more Jumping up, baby. Right now. Jumping up. Uh, uh, McSpicy, how about that, you? What, uh, what did you play this week? I played... You got of some course, poker in. I did get some yeah, poker. A couple hours that. of poker. I love that game. Um, I played some Rainbow Six uh-huh. in the early parts of the week. I played Battleborn with you guys. Mm-hmm. And now, what are your thoughts on Battleborn? Because you're a big Overwatch guy. Yeah. Uh, you're also a big hero, or you've become a big Heroes of the Storm guy. Yeah, yeah. Battleborn is kind of a mix of those two games, I think. Yeah, I wouldn't even... I, I mean, yeah, the fact that it's a first-person shooter puts it in Overwatch is kind of area. Sure. But I, And Thorn is a character. That's basically who I played as because sure. I'm new. Uh-huh. Um, Thorn is basically Hanzo from Overwatch. Um, <clears throat> I, I liked it. I definitely liked it. I think it's... I, I have some learning to do. Their servers aren't... As far as 
connecting things and going. Well, I, they're it, out in the rice paddies in China. Yeah, they're. I don't know where they are, but they're, <laughs> they're I, leather, rice yeah. paddies <laughs> underground. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah. it's. It takes twenty minutes just to get anywhere. Um, but no, I, I. I think it was fun. I think uh, is is it felt. I felt some lag issues as well, you know, with the servers and stuff like sure. that. So, um, basing it, I what did I play? Like three hours of that? Oh yeah, yeah, at least. Um, I thought it was fun. I think I, I don't think I can play that game by myself. I don't think I could solo that game. Sure. Uh-huh. I would need uh-huh. you guys with me. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, Overwatch, I feel like I can. So solo, if we're comparing yeah. that, I would. Yeah. I, yeah, I yeah. lean towards Overwatch because sure. I that's my area now. I, I just really. Really enjoy Overwatch, but I had a good time. I think yeah. it's a great. I think it's a game that kind of got swept under. It really did it really because did. it's different. They're both different games, and it's a shame that it got. It good. has great humor in the game. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean it's definitely. Well, if when you, you like switch to the other character, yeah. you really If you like Borderlands, you'll love. It's this funny. Game. I, I you laughed. should play the story. I lulled. Mode. Wait till we go through the story mode with you. The story mode is hilarious. okay. Cool. Um, so I, I enjoyed it. I think it's a great game. Um, I don't think it's on sale anymore. Is it? No. Uh, no, not right now. No. Uh, so I, I we got it on sale, but. Um, I enjoyed it. I think it's I think it's a great game. If you're into the MOBA and first person shooter, uh, there's a lot of room for for progressing in that game. Just like Heroes of the Storm. Yeah. So you can die put a if you're looking for a game to put a lot of time into and enjoy it. Uh, Battleborn is a good right option head. for you. So, um, and I played Overwatch. And that's you got the achievement for McCree. McCree. Yeah. And now I need Genji's. I have to get Genji's because. Uh, I'm, I'm Genji's hard. You have yeah. to be. You have to learn Genji to play him. They're nerfing him from eight seconds to six seconds. Like I said in the pat, talked about earlier, that you have to kill four people with your blade. It's easy apparently if you're good with Genji because every, almost every scene is you know end game scene is that. So I need to get that soon. But yeah. Anyways, I played Overwatch. Good, good, good game. Very nice. Very nice. Great. What a great week. A great week for gaming. Tons of great news. Good news. Mm-hmm. Talked about some achievement hunting. Mm-hmm. McSpicy got in some Battleborn and some poker. Mm-hmm. I like that. It's, I mean, if that's a good, that's fun. Which we're going to be setting up some poker. That was a fun game. Yeah. I sh- if you like poker, give that a shot. It's free. <laughs> yeah, but you got nothing to lose. If it sucks, it was free. <laughs> yeah, I know. And with that, McSpicy, where can people reach you, and what will you be up to to? to this Today, week? tonight. What Today. will you be up to tonight? I'm gonna <laughs> go get another drink of water. Uh, no, I'm. You can find me on Twitter at Mr. McSpicy. Uh, my gamer tag is Mr. McSpicy as well. It's C E Y at the end, in case you were wondering. I'm going to be playing Overwatch. I'm going to be playing the poker, Titanfall. front of the poker, Titanfall? and Titanfall. 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 Yeah, Titanfall. Tonight you're going to hop in. That yeah, morning. you're playing tonight. Yeah, yeah. Are you Are you playing tonight? I unfortunately I have to work tomorrow. Mm. Yes, my uh, I have two weekends a year that I have to work. Tomorrow is one of them. Uh, the weekend before school starts, actually. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, that's where I'm going to be. That's what I'm going to be. Very nice. Jordan, how about you? Uh, I'm Jordan the Manix. will be everywhere. And uh, yeah, I'll just be finishing up that 100% on Batman and then probably be trying to go through the cruise story. Yeah. Although it is a little heavy for me for a racing game. <laughs> 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 you're, you're Gordon well, Freeman. I think, I think what happened is I, I was playing Batman and that's already pretty heavy on its own. right? Yeah. And then I jumped into that expecting just some fun racing shenanigans and it was just heavy. But uh, yeah, I'll be doing that and then Titanfall. Well. Absolutely. I will be in Madden. I will be in Madden this weekend. I will be destroying Shebrew <laughs> in Madden this weekend. He thinks... I don't know why he's talking trash. I I don't even think he played in the tournament last year. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will be on Madden. I am X1 Bros everywhere. Thank you so much, everybody, for being a part of this community. Thank you for sharing us with your friends and joining us in gaming. It is a blast. Positive gaming is where it's at. We could change the world through gaming. Have fun this week. See you later.